Hello. Welcome to the Opie and Anthony program. Having a little fun with uh, Elliot Spitzer today, that's for sure. In the air. Hey! I yeah, the Adam and George yeah. are on with us. Ah, just another 10 minutes of sleep, that's all I needed. <laughs> Ugh. George was sleepy. Oh, God. It's hard to plunk myself down into sleep when I have to do this show. I can't just go, like, right to sleep. Nah, know. never no, works. You guys are used to your bodies just shut down at a certain time. No, no. not at all. No, never. That, it sucks. Everyone says you, you'll never get used to doing morning radio, and it's true, because I'm not, I'm not a go-to-sleep at 7 o'clock at night guy. I did everything just, right. I didn't have any coffee after uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I didn't eat late. Yeah, you got to be a gremlin. Yeah, <laughs> still couldn't sleep. You got to be really strict, and that doesn't even work. I went to bed at 9 last night because I was tired. Yeah. I, I think I finally fell asleep around 11. Yeah. You just can't shut down your brain that early in the night. Yeah. Uh, Otto and George in studio. He's got a DVD he's pushing, and it looks really, really good. It's called Wanted for Crimes Against Humanity. Hi, uh, hilarity, Norton. Uh, <laughs> three dummies and a puppet. You got John Valby, you yeah. got Otto and George, and you got pretty Paul Parsons. Yeah. The funny part about that is uh, pretty Paul is not pretty at all. Yeah. He's uh, creepy looking. Looks like Bernard McGurk from I Miss a Show. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit. A little bit, a little bit. And you can get this at laugh.com uh, or ottoandgeorge.com. Yeah. I got a lot of stuff for sale on laugh.com. The checks are rolling in. Yeah? I, I have enough money right now to last the rest of my life unless I want to buy something. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's I'm glad it's not that no, works. Very nice. You, yeah, you, you saved yourself on that one. And this is going to be a hard bit to tell. I was watching the uh, DH1 behind, you know, the true story. It was, uh, what do you call it, Freddie Mercury? Remember that guy? Yeah, sure. Of Lead course, Queen. Queen. Yeah, and they always interview, like, the chauffeur bodyguard. It's like, on the weekends after a concert, he would have, like, a picnic. He had, the, like, four or five close friends over for a picnic. And he's very wholesome. He'd leave with a picnic basket. Yeah, let's talk to the people who were at the picnic what happened, you know. Uh, well, he spread out the blanket. Then he clubbed me into unconsciousness with a ukulele. And then he violated me right next to the potato salad. I didn't even get a sandwich. He left me there. The limo pulled off with a guy with buck teeth laughing in the back window. I think I got raped by Doug. Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does that mean? What does that have to do with Spitzer? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> but it's funny. Yeah, it's all about Elliot Spitzer today. A, a quick look at other things going on. Not that anyone cares, but Madonna and John Mellencamp, they entered the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame last night. We, we think the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is a complete joke, right, Jimmy? Uh, no, I think it's a good move that Sabbath was uh, tried nine times. They inducted them, to, and they finally got in before they were inducted. Yeah. And uh, her, I think, on the first ballot. They're relevant oh, boy, to what rock they? and roll yeah. is. They're really we, relevant. We read the list of bands that aren't in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah, it's, it's just amazing. Yeah. I don't have it in front of me right now, but bands like Rush, bands like uh, Yes, I believe. Uh, well, Kenny and I went there. When I was in uh, Cleveland. And right. then they, uh, they induct Miles Davis. I mean, the great artist, but not even rock and roll at not all. It's just it. jazz, you know? Right. We went there because I wanted to trash this place. But uh, I'll tell you, the guy who ran it told me that uh, they don't... And he's like, we have nothing to do with the inductions. It's, it, there's a voting board. So, some by artists. So they're just a building. Basically. So it's not the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame itself. Is actually, I was impressed at what a cool setup they have. Like, the building itself was nice. Yeah. The voting board... Uh, should die in a fire. <laughs> the building itself, though, I, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I have to amend my hatred. It's not for them. It's for whatever board decides who gets in. Cause it's, 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 it's a separate the actual thing. building is, is awesome looking, but the stuff they got in is a bunch of crap, though. Buddy Holly's return ticket. Yeah. <laughs> got a half of Mama Cass's sandwich <laughs> and Elvis Presley's toilet seat. I wish, I wish it was that good. Oh, no, no. Okay. It's stuff that, uh, obviously, the family members found in an attic somewhere. Like, ah, well, here's Jimi Hendrix, I don't know, Boy Scout uniform. Yeah. There, you can have it. Yeah. We weren't going to do anything with it. <laughs> don't have anything of, uh, of, I don't know, stuff where you actually would go, wow. Really? So you got Madonna and John Mellencamp uh, entering the Hall of Fame. <laughs> wow. And then you got this dopey story, Billy Crystal. Oh, love this one. What a waxy puppet he's turned into. <sighs> Billy Crystal. Maybe we should just do the news story on this one. Hold on a minute. Some big news at Yankee Camp this morning. Yankee Camp. Yankee <laughs> Camp. 
<laughs> yeah, he can. <laughs> talks like that. It's yeah, not listen. normal. <laughs> listen it's to Yankee the... camp. Yeah, you need to gear up. Yeah. yeah. Listen to the excitement. Some big news at Yankee camp this morning. <laughs> yeah. The Bronx Bombers are about to sign comedian Billy Crystal, and that's not a joke. Billy Crystal turns six. No, it is a joke. Yeah. It's a big joke on us. <laughs> what else could it be? Yeah. What, did he discover at 50-some-odd years old that he could hit 400-foot yeah, What is he going to do? Billy Crystal, and that's not a joke. It is Billy a joke. Crystal turns 60 years old on Friday, and to celebrate, he is signing a one-day contract with his favorite team, the Yanks. Crystal is going to play in the Yankees exhibition game against the Pirates on Thursday. He's going to wear the number 60. Crystal said, quote, I can help the younger players, which, of course, is all of them. He is the biggest <laughs> And the biggest Yankees fan, too. It be so cool for him. He's like living in Very room. nice. Very nice. <laughs> Why can't they just be real? Well, yeah. this is what obviously... What is he going to do? His old black blues man character <laughs> for the 35th year in a row? Right. This is obviously a publicity stunt. Why can't they 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 tell it like it is yeah. in the news? Ugh. Ugh, is right. Who wants to see Billy Crystal out there? Yeah. No one. It's a mockery. A mockery. <laughs> Hate that. Oh, maybe it's over here. Did anybody see that movie? There will be blood. Not yet. Horrible. A <sighs> horrible. Unwatch. Unwatchable. A lot of people say Nothing, it's a great movie. No, they're idiots. Nothing happened in this movie for three hours. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it should have been called "There Will Be Milk Duds." I was at the, <laughs> I was at the the refreshment stand the whole time. Oh, I really, really. Yeah, but sucked. if you were at the refreshment stand, maybe oh, that's when. No, nah, really nothing stuff happened. Was going it, on. it sucked. <laughs> it, 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 there's no market. You know, it, it was set in the old days. It wasn't a western. Yeah. It wasn't anything. It, it, there's no audience for this movie. A little, it's a fine <laughs> actor, but give me a, a break. A little thing about uh, Otto that people probably don't know. You really know your movies. Nah. What was your What was your favorite movie that you you seen recently? Recently, um. No country Not, for old men. That, oh, absolutely, yeah. That, that was yeah, number was one. Yeah, terrific. The Coen Brothers are just great, man. I that thought, one was good. Yeah, yeah that was good. Pretty. I liked it because it was no comic relief. It was just brutally, just <laughs> brutal violence. Everyone dies. There was, you know, there was no comic relief. They you didn't try and mix it up. You, you know, you make a really good point there. Yeah, Hollywood yeah. always feels like ah, oh, we got to get a couple laughs. Very in grim, the, very the grim blood and bloody and yeah. violent. It was really good. Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. 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 Uh, I thought you were looking for something over there, and I was. Yeah. You, uh, with, with the Billy I'm Crystal. on IMDb and my thing looking for a Billy Crystal sound, but I couldn't find it. Oh, okay. It's That's that I, one. Dan's usually pretty good at it, but we're absent today. Dan is absent. I was looking for the, can you dig it? I, I knew you oh, yeah. could. That old blood. That yeah. old, when yeah. he goes, I'll just, I'll just talk they about it then. They smoking their own cigarettes that they rolled. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we get it. It's pot. <laughs> <laughs> Schmuck. You know, and he played a trumpet. Yeah. And it sounded like this. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Stop. What is he playing air trumpet? Yeah. He's just doing a mockery. Put on blackface and sing Mammy. I know. I know. It is. It's just... Oh, is he the worst? Those went theater on audience are so forgiving, too, you know? Like I know. John Leguizamo with his stupid characters, you know? Yeah. My Puerto Rican grandmother, my Puerto Rican uncle, <laughs> you know? Oh, he's so, very, so talented. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Let's, go, let's go to Josh in oh, Virginia. Is that it? Josh? Yeah, how's it going? Hey. Yeah, Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, Otto, you're an idiot. There Will Be Blood was an amazing movie. Did Did you like it? Yeah, I loved it. Which it part? Great. The first 30 minutes, there's no talking, but it's amazing. You're, uh... You're waiting on the edge of your seat. Whoa, 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 whoa. 30 minutes of no talking? Yeah. Yeah, but it was amazing. Wow. It's, it's, it's a guy uh, just doing his uh, one single thing in a mind, but you're captivated by the whole thing, wondering what's going to happen next. Yeah, the first hour, n nothing is said. The second hour, oh, my, my kid is adopted. The third hour, the third hour uh, has anybody got a bowling pin? <laughs> and he freaking clubs a guy to yeah, death with a yeah. bowling pin. Three hours for this, waiting. You got to give it to the little I kid. stayed till the producer. end. Sucked. Oh, oh, man, you're wrong. You're totally wrong. The guy who was the preacher only Overacting had like two weeks to learn Brit it. Faggot, tie to him. Yeah. Otto, right, you guys have a good day, man. Otto Come gives it here. a thumbs down. <laughs> yeah. I believe so. Yeah, didn't he win the Oscar for that though? Yes, he he did. did. So what? All right, just, 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 just asking. Take my word for it. It stinks on ice. I got a great joke. Yeah, go ahead, Jimmy. Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> 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 Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> that guy's an ass. <laughs> Re-elect Governor Elliot Spitzer. As Attorney General, he exposed record companies that paid millions of dollars each year to get music stations to add songs to their playlists. As client number nine, he exposed himself to high-priced escorts who would point and laugh at his cashew-shaped genitals. (laughs) Re-elect client number nine for governor. Paid for by the Opie and Anthony Show. I don't like the fact that our our laughs or Ann's laugh is put in there like we're the hookers. I know. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's yeah what the hell? <laughs> Did you find that on the replay machine? No. Oh, you didn't. Find oh, it. oh you, you mean this? That. Rock, what of course you I did. I'm teasing. What? Can you dig that? I knew that you could. I knew well, that you could. All right. And then you know when Katrina came through, it was hard on all of us. Where were you? He yeah. was in in Beverly Hills somewhere. Yeah. But he's the voice of the black man. Billy yeah, I hate Crystal. when he mixes drama and p- pathos and comedy. Stop it. Yeah, it's the worst thing I've ever seen a, a yeah. quote-unquote comic try to do. Yeah, I know. What is he going to do for the Yankees? Are they going to let him play, or is he going to just sit on the bench? Oh. I, I hope he takes a liner right to the head. <laughs> oh, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> just enough splits target, his really? head open. He's laying... <laughs> He's laying there just bleeding to death yeah. on the field. It, it, fame is a weird oh, thing. Tragic, uh, <laughs> tragedy today as yeah. Billy Crystal was killed yeah. at Yankee Stadium. <laughs> you know, it was supposed to be a fun-filled day for Crystal, who was a big Yankee fan. <laughs> and uh, to have it end in his death like this is tragic. <laughs> oh, I would just be laughing. <laughs> Here's a... Uh, uh, the video, uh, please remember, the, uh, the, get the children out of the room. This is very graphic <laughs> as Billy Crystal's big, stupid head explodes with his wispy afro on top. <laughs> All you see is a red mist like he was taken out by a sniper. <laughs> <laughs> Dilly Plaza. Oh, funny. I would love that. <laughs> Just see his head explode. Why is his head getting bigger? Yeah. Something uh, with being famous, man. The yes. more famous you get, your head just Movie expands. stars all have big heads, though. Yeah? It's true. Yeah, they got to have big heads. Yeah. Something about big the heads, camera. no torso. It's true. <laughs> Why is Paul, New- Paul Newman, Charles Bronson, uh, Pacino. Charles Bronson. Almost, almost every big movie star was freak. Eddie Murphy, freakishly big head, <laughs> but the camera shrinks it somehow. <laughs> the camera yeah. shrinks yeah. their yeah. head. Yeah. It's very odd. <laughs> Uh, damn. Tremendous skull on Tommy Lee Jones. Have you seen that thing? <laughs> it's like a jukebox. <laughs> it's, it's huge. Can <laughs> <laughs> uh, you dig that? I knew that you could. Yeah. I knew that you could. We got a girl calling in from uh, Stanford, Connecticut. Uh, girl, right. how are you? How are you? Oh, hi, guys. Good. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Uh, Good evening. Say, <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> um, Blood is uh, amazing. Okay. And they don't talk for like 12 minutes in the beginning. It's not a half hour. Oh, it's long. I'm not 12 that's minutes. A, a might lot. as well be a half hour in a movie. God forbid a comedian right, exaggerates for like a laugh. Two right here that didn't like it. What's your, <laughs> what's your point? It sucked. I don't, you're silly. It's amazing, and it's intense, and it's awesome. No, it uh, wasn't either. <laughs> no. It wasn't any of those adge- adjectives. <laughs> School that bitch. Yeah. Uh, let's say hi to Anthony in New York. Anthony. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's going on, man? Oh. I'll let you know that uh, Billy Crystal is going to be a celebrity manager, not a player. Uh, then, pff, I, I didn't hear that on the news. Yeah. All they were talking about was how he's joining the Yankees for a day. You think uh, Susan Wallman's going to have something to say about it? Goodness oh. gracious! Yeah. Billy Crystal's up in George Steinbrenner's box with his wispy afro. <laughs> wispy. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing the black gentleman impression. Of all the dramatic things I've ever seen. <laughs> Goodness gracious! I don't know when this man was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy. I know you're, you know, yeah. you, you, you're, you're represented by similar uh, people. Well, I like Billy. Of course yeah. you do. I understand <laughs> what, what the official Analyze line that. has to be. <laughs> no, Billy's well, been very nice to me. So I an has atrocious he? sequel that was. <laughs> oh, not as bad as that stupid sequel, Curly's Gold. Oh, God. To that stupid Western. Yeah. Oh. 
Nothing better than a good man movie where the city guys go and try to you know, be a rough and tumble. Yeah. And uh, the hardships they encounter. And then they all get together at the end. And the, pull they're it on off. a man case. That's right. They all eat the cracker. Would you Once ever, a night. Would you ever go on a man? <laughs> they all take turns eating the cracker in the middle. <laughs> would, would you go on a mancation auto? What do you mean? Just a bunch of guys in the woods? Yeah, like it's it's the latest thing. You know, you get your your boys together and you go on vacation. Absolutely. Together. I prefer the company of men. Women, you just tolerate when they're speaking. You try and look interested. <laughs> they have nothing, nothing to say. I wasn't expecting just this angle. Buzzkill skanks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right I prefer the company of men. You laugh. You can say whatever you want. Be yourself. That was Gleason, Gleason was like that too. Like mm -hmm. they wanted to have fun with the boys, and when you wanted to bang them, you banged them. But aside from the that, boys? oh, absolutely. No, they go, the uh, the, <laughs> the girls, <laughs> nothing. That's absolutely. Uh -ha! Yeah. I'd rather go out with Harvey. Bloods are no good when you want to have some fun. Who yeah. invited the skates? Yeah. <laughs> uh, sleeping for snips. <laughs> I haven't had lunch in weeks. Just my, squirts. My favorite line in that is the prosecutor <laughs> asked him a question, and he goes, I wouldn't give you the skin off a grape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Joe and Flushing. Joe? You're dumb, Tommy, but you're not that dumb. <laughs> Awful victim at sure. Yeah. Hey, Joe. How's it going, guys? Hey. Better now. Uh... Just wanted to agree. Uh, I think there will be blood really sucked. Thanks, man. Oh, now it's three to two. Isn't it boring? Mm -hmm. I, uh, I saw a really good bootleg of it. I want my money back. It really sucked. Yeah, you know, with that title, you figured there's going to be an amazing, uh, at least two great gun battles or a throat slash. Nothing like that happens in it. It was very misleading. you got to think a lot of blood. Yeah, a title like that. I was sure. hoping, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm a New Yorker. Actually, it's just a movie about a really a, a girl who's getting crankier by the day. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Re-elect Governor Elliot Spitzer. Oh. As a crusading attorney general, Spitzer vigorously broke up the illicit activities of major prostitution rings. As client number nine, the governor of New York spent thousands of dollars with the Emperor's Club, a major prostitution uh, ring that delivered uh, petite young women to his hotel room to f*** him in the f*** with sticks of dynamite. We hope, because if it was just straight sex, why bother? Re-elect client number nine for governor. Nice. Coming in all morning. <laughs> there will be chocolate and salty snacks and bloating. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see, uh, WSP Matt Man, mm -hmm. he's hoping that, uh, on his one day with the Yankees, uh, uh, Billy Crystal gets Lou Gehrig's disease. <laughs> oh, good, yeah. <laughs> I'm the luckiest man in the world. <laughs> Can you dig that? I knew that you could. I knew that you could. <laughs> oh, yeah. was, there, was there more of that, or was that all there was? Yeah, know. that's pretty much all there was yeah. of that. Everything else was just sleep-inducing. Yeah. Oh, he just kept going and go. How long did that go? Oh, forever. It went forever. Just to him babbling it's about the, and the houses yeah. were underwater. And, and uh, I had a trumpet that got lost yeah. <laughs> in the hurricane. And, oh. and people sitting there going, well, this is supposed to be yeah. profound. So if I get up, I'm going to look like the uh, yeah, exactly. jackass. Oh, he puts people in this position where they they have to sit there. Yeah. It's like watching a lecture. Yeah, Shut exactly. up, Billy. Exactly. Yeah, you get the, you Be get funny for overly F's artistic, sake. pompous. You, we got a lot. Yeah, we got a lot of Catholics in house today. You, you get the new uh, no nos from the Catholic Church. Oh no, no what coming down from the Pope? They no. hand out the Pope occasionally comes out with new sins. Oh, God. <laughs> with new sins, and they don't hold a candle to the old ones. Yeah. I got to be honest with you, new sins suck. They kind of ran out of ideas. Yeah. I'm not going to acknowledge the new sins unless God himself delivers them. Yeah. Not, not some guy we elected. Well, the Pope. The well, we didn't even We like elected him. the Pope? I said, well, we didn't even like them. He's a bit them. queenish, too. I hate to break it to you. You yeah. think? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yes, I do. He was a Hitler youth. Uh, good for him. Wow. He's, he's not now. I hate to think... Uh, he's an older gentleman, and I think he's a... You think a little queen? Yes, I certainly do. Mm. Yeah, I think he's a J. Edgar Hoover. Oh, oh yeah? Yeah. You want to hear the new no-nos? Yes. This will uh, get you to hell. Girls. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thou shalt not put automatic signatures in emails. Uh, <laughs> too updated. <laughs> this is too modern for the church. <laughs> uh, well, you got uh, bioethical violations. That would be, of course, uh, birth control. Oh. New well, forms of birth control, basically. 
of course, uh, the what? continued uh, no-no. For what the a church. shock. The well, church the pre- wants to get out of touch. What the, a pre- shock. the prevention of tissue has always been the big thing with them, right? You, you, every seed must be, yeah. Yeah, utilized. Every you sperm can't is waste sacred. It. Yeah. Well, that uh, leads to this, the next no-no, yeah. the new no-no, morally dubious experiment. Such as stem cell research oh, is a yeah. no-no. Yeah, that, why, why would you bother with stem cell research when it uh, helps people? Uh, it's science. It's not some mythical creatures that are floating around in some uh, abstract space that's called heaven. How about adding Stop. extra relish to tartar sauce? Does he have anything to say about that? <laughs> it's not it's chunky sin. enough. It's a sin. Oh. Number three is drug abuse. Uh huh. A new no-no from Pope Benedict. Number four, polluting the environment is now a sin. Wow. <laughs> you were right. These th- don't hold up to the they old They don't ones. hold no. up. Pollution. So if you throw a, like a, a carton of something out, out of your window when you're driving, it's yeah. just as bad as coveting someone's yeah. wife. Okay. Those were some good sins back then. Yeah. You don't covet. Holding the farts and littering. pull out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thou, thou shalt not kill or make the Indian cry on the side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, the next one, contributing to the widening gap, uh, the widening gap between the rich and the poor. Oh, how do you do that? Uh, contributing uh, to the widening That's a sin? gap between the rich and poor. Yeah, they're running out of stuff to. They're really running out of sins. Uh, These sins to get stink. Us oh, he's saying share the wealth and, and like. The, well, how about him take one of their million dollar uh, hats that the Pope wears, <laughs> give it to the, some crack whore, you know? Let her get a bunch. God, Otto, you you hit it right on the head. Yeah. The Vatican is one of the most wealthy organizations. Yeah. The Catholic Church is one of the most mo- wealthy organizations. Yeah. Talk about a, a pawn the Pope hat. <laughs> pawn the Pope pawn hat. The pope that pope staff hat. that he has. Well, buy a sell the Pope mobile. Yeah. Buy, buy a Volkswagen. Well, at least yeah. You're, you're Nazi. <laughs> Filthy, lying sodomite. You're, you're <laughs> Nazi queen. Yeah. <laughs> it, Do you have any audio of the Pope talking in his voice? Uh, <laughs> let's find it. Look, here's uh, the next one is oh. excessive. <laughs> the next uh, no no is excessive wealth. <laughs> well, that's, that's that's the that's Catholic Church. And basically where he lives. The Vatican yeah. is excessive wealth. How about the next no no is not living off government land and not paying taxes? Mm-hmm. How, yeah. about, how about not. Uh, not protecting Nazi and, commie homo and moving. <laughs> how about not moving uh, priests who you know are guilty of a pedophilia from parish to parish? Yeah. Is that what they do? Oh, yeah, they yeah. just yeah. rotate them around. Oh, they bury them. Yeah, they oh, okay. Them. Yeah, they yeah. don't take them out of circulation. They lamb it. They lamb it for a while. Yes, they do. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> lamb it. I'm on the lamb. I watch the Sopranos. They, they got <laughs> a bad regional manager. <laughs> they don't want to fire them, so they just move them from store to store, hoping wow. they kind of connect. <laughs> they do more trading than Major League Baseball. Wow. <laughs> they just move just these send guys them, around. Send them to another city full of children. And then, yeah. the, and another no-no is creating uh, poverty, which uh, uh, you Catholic. can't create poverty. How do you do that? I guess firing. I don't. I don't know. Firing yeah. people taking their jobs away. Awful uh, bunch of sins, <laughs> right? Horrid. <laughs> yeah. I don't like this New Year's batch of sins. Yeah. Uh, let's say hi to Marco in Queens. Marco. What's up, guys? What's up? Hey. I want to let you know that you guys pretty much broke every single one of those sins on air. I don't know what to do in the privacy of your own home. Yeah. But definitely on air. Yeah. Oh, do we have that? Thank you, sir. We just uh, got a communique we'll here. We have it. Here's uh, Iraq. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. No. No? I do want to hear that. All right, let's uh, <laughs> say hi to Steve in Niagara Falls Here's real fast. something for God's sake. Steve. Hey, guys. How you doing, man? Good. What's up? I, I got it for you. Uh, Elliot Spitzer, that he was uh, the number nine with his coat. I figured for his campaign trail next time, he could do the Mambo number nine song. A little bit of Julia in my life. <laughs> Hey, that's not a bad idea. Let's oh, uh, or, or we could rework it and do client number nine. So, of Mambo is, number nine. Is Spitzer a Jewish guy? Oh, what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Elliot Spitzer, a platform designed to clean up New York. And extra large platform go-go boots to go with his matching purse and peacock feather hat. Re-elect client number nine for governor. It's <laughs> paid for by the OPN. Scandal. The guy got a hooker. How does Steve throw his own life into this? <laughs> yeah. He likes things pounded. He he likes to wear dresses. His yeah. name. He's a producer. <laughs> right. He's just taking everything from personal experience <laughs> and shoehorning it into our Spitzer bit. You got it, E Rock. Let's go. This is how we finish today. Do you know what it means oh. to miss New Orleans and miss it yeah. each night and day? 
I know I'm not wrong. Oh, God. The feeling's getting stronger the longer I stay away. Mr. Moss colored vines, the tall sugar pines, where mocking boys come to uh, see. mocking boys. Yeah. And I'd like to <laughs> see the lazy Mississippi oh. hurrying. Into spring. Where's Hein Heinrich Himmler when you need him? A Creole tune that fills the air. I dream about <laughs> Maki Boyd. Soon I'm wishing that <laughs> hey, I was a hey, warm. <laughs> Do you know what it means to miss? <laughs> New Orleans, cause that's where you wow. left your home. How about shortening this fucker? And there's one <laughs> more. <laughs> more than I miss New Orleans. Oh my god, Otto. <laughs> right on. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, wow. the, the saxophone solo. Yeah. Oh man. Stephen S. from Bayshore writes Creating Poverty, does that include CBS? And how they pay or don't pay for the rundown. <laughs> <laughs> Push, Steve. Stephen S. from Bayshore uh, writes the rundown for onaradio.com. Oh. He hasn't been paid since December or something. And uh, Steve doesn't have a lot of money. He can, he can definitely use the money uh, that CBS owes him. Yeah. Why don't they do the right thing and pay the damn guy? You know, the Pope's against poverty. I hear that. Oh, yeah. back to Billy Crystal. Oh. Come on, big finish. Big finish. What? Mr. Bush, can you dig this? I knew that you could. Oh, oh, right, so mighty. Is he doing a kick line thing here? You should only get cancer. I hope you get cancer. And there's one thing more. I miss the ones I care for. More than I miss. More than. Oh, yeah. Ugh. And then the people are like, they don't want to applaud this. They do not want to applaud this. Oh, why feed into him? It, this should have been dead, deafening silence. The guy who made my giant is still getting standing O's for that crap. <laughs> Here's uh, the Pope. We got we got to get out of here. But Jimmy said the Pope sounds a little uh, a little a little, yeah. a little strange. A little light in the low. We are invited to contemplate Jesus wow. as an example of how to contact yes. our our deeds. Oh, oh but it does sound a bit uh, yeah. Yeah, he, uh, <laughs> that's chicken good. Yeah, that's Touch my good. monkey. Yes, he is. Yeah. Yeah. against temptation. May this time of purification prepare our hearts yes. to celebrate the saving mysteries of the day. Yes. And the Jones. Of yeah. <laughs> I wish you all a pleasant stay in Rome and a pleasant Sunday. Oh, boy. Wow, yeah, there's Jimmy, a little, you nailed that one. A little Mia. Paul Lynn going there. That's <laughs> how old I'm yeah. the Pope. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Full speed ahead. <laughs> Alan Seuss. <laughs> Party favors. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bless you. Go, bless you all. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> My favorite Paul Lynn, they go, this next question is about cuisine. Uh, Paul, uh, what's the main reason for pounding meat? And he goes, loneliness. <laughs> 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 loneliness. <laughs> He went out like a true mo too, <laughs> like yeah. taking true poppers mo. and oh yeah, he didn't play, yeah. Yeah. just croaking on the bed from auto erotic asphyxiation yeah. or something. Right. Face down in a paint booth with like a with like a little bit of uh, egg salad on his face and an ascot. <laughs> oh, can I plug one more thing? Yeah, uh, my other DVD. It's a sketch show called Detention Lounge. I'm on there with Jim Florentine and my friend Kevin Baco. Nice. And you can purchase that on DetentionLounge.com. Any okay. gigs coming up? Yeah, yeah, I'll be, um, uh, it's all on my website, ottoandgeorge.com. I'll be at Zany's this weekend. And, uh, well, let's make sure people know you got a new product out here that you brought us this morning, yeah. too. You can go to laugh.com. It's uh, Wanted for Crimes Against Humanity. Yeah. Three dummies and a puppet. You got uh, John Valley, who we love, yeah. has done our show many times. You got, of course, Otto and George. And you got this guy. I really don't know about him, but you guys uh, say he's really funny. He's Pretty unique. Paul Parsons. He's very good. What kind of humor does he do? He's like a kind of a dirty Stephen Wright. He's real. He's real unique cat. He is. 
Very cool. I'm yeah. going to check this out tonight, Otto. Thank you. Uh, New Orleans. Uh, oh, New Orleans. Uh, you any of that on our show. Oh, wait, can I plug uh, real quick? Yeah. Uh, this Friday, I'm in Denver at the Gothic Theater. Nice. And then this Saturday, the Pangeus, the whatever it's called, theater in Minneapolis. But that one may be sold out. But check on my MySpace. Oh, All right, Jimmy. Yeah. Can you dig it? We're off and to XM. Can... Have a great day. Baby. I'm gay. You guys do the walkover? You still do the walkover? Yeah. The Opie and Anthony Show. XM202. In the world of Radio Shock Jock, the biggest are Opie and Anthony. These people say shocking things that border on offensive uh, in order to entertain their audience. I refuse to sit here and radio think that Shock radio Shock. has to be nice. Why? Shock. Why does radio, out of Shock any Shock. other medium, have Shock. to be nice? We are being Shock. now Shock. held to a standard where we have Shock. to be Shock. nice and make people feel Shock. good. Shock. Go screw! Radio Bad Boys, Opie and Anthony. Controversial radio personalities, Opie and Anthony. Infamous DJs, Opie and Anthony. Talk show radio hosts, Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. Radio Shock Jocks, Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. Shock Jocks, Opie and Anthony. Shock Jocks, Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. Shock Jocks, Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. Shock Jocks, Opie and Anthony. Shock Jocks, Opie and Anthony. If you want to put it, feel free. I've done it before. I'll let you go from to my. That's really sick. This is where entertainment is going. More audio of me rock in the bathroom. They are sick freaks. Can you pop this in? I want to see something squirt out. Aim it over there. <laughs> this is the worst, the worst show I've. This is the worst show I've ever been on. But enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. Here we are, XM Satellite Radio. Radio, radio. Beat it. Ah, of course Otto made the walkover. Yeah. Of course he did. Uh, January morning. Fucking Burr. hilarious. From a 1976 article in the National Lampoon magazine. Great shit. As racist and offensive as can be. All right? Mm-hmm. Gonna have to find out what that's about. I used to. Uh, Thanks for the details, Jay. I used we to get those it. all the time. <laughs> yeah. National Lampoon was very funny back in the olden days. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, did Kenny run out? Yes, he did. Uh, but he might not be gone yet. Kenny might Kenny! still be in the Kenny. I uh, I was just in Tim's studio, I'm running in like Herman Munster, leaving a big shape of himself <laughs> <Yeah>. in the wall. G <laughs> H. <laughs> I want to do. I want him to do the dump report really fast, Kenny. A lot of people are requesting the dump report today because uh, Otto is always Thank good you. for a couple. Lily, Grandpa, yeah. I'm worried about Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie, get down from that tree, Eddie. <laughs> Wait to hear him and Steve singing meatloaf stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, we're, really? We're preparing for our big meatloaf interview for tomorrow, and yeah. meatloaf uh, canceled but, on us. But apparently, he's leaving New York. Another <laughs> bullshit excuse, I'm sure. Oh, meatloaf of course. Canceled. Yeah. Yeah. So, but we'll find out. Let's find out if he's really going to leave New York. Because I, I know he was supposed to do that premiere tomorrow night. Like his premiere. Own, like we were invited or something to his movie thing. Like, tomorrow night in New York City? Yeah. So yeah, let's it, find it, out it, if it, he's really leaving New York. We're getting the blow off. It, why, he's not leaving New York if he's got a premiere tomorrow. This is bullshite. Let's ask Roland. What did Roland said? Oh, well, let's get Roland on the phone I, and find I, out. I, 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 well, wait till you hear these guys singing Meatloaf. We'll still play the Meatloaf stuff that we had prepared for the I interview. I can't wait for the big uh, hit. Paradise by the Dashboard. You gotta line. hear the wolf one. <laughs> oh, really? You know, what's that song where they talk yeah, about the wolf and with the red rose with and the, the red rose? Blah blah blah. <laughs> I, it was making me laugh pretty good. I, I, I let you know a little secret. One take, Kenny didn't do so good on that song. Uh, oh no. no! No, it was it was <laughs> meathead. <laughs> <laughs> it just goes on way too long. Meat you're gonna dope. Go, you're gonna go from <laughs> laughing to get a really annoyed, and then you're gonna laugh by the end of it because it's just it's just uh, awful. Uh, do we have the sweeper for the dump report? Live from the Opie and Anthony Show Studios, the Daily Dump Report. Good morning, everyone. It's Club Soda Kenny with the infamous dump report. Debuting at 7.56 a.m., Jim Norton with a holy shit. <laughs> dump report. And then 7.57, a caller, the governor's, the governor's A-N-I-G. 
Why? <sighs> what? What Come was on. that? They dumped out a nig? Yeah. He didn't say it all the way out? He just said nig? No, he just said nig. Yeah, a caller said that. Wow. 814, another caller said fucking. Yeah? 844, Otto made his debut with faggot. Oh. <laughs> Faggot's no good. Why Can you that believe be that that's wow. not uh, acceptable? No. I, that's I, not I, a that curse word. That was not said. A, that's a not given a curse is wrong word. about that no. one. No. That, he said that was not said in a ra That's fucking. A, that's a wrong dump right there. The word faggot is is really getting. A, we a are bad allowed reputation. to say it. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you're not describing sexuality. God, is that fucking irritating? Yeah. It really is. Oh, your mother's cunt now. That was a bad <laughs> dump. Yeah. Yeah. Nine bad dump. Yes. Nine o'clock. Otto backed it up with fucker. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. yeah, like, I think that's fine, too. Dumb faggot and wonder why Bunker. people are fucking running to uncensored content. I have no idea. Yeah. And that's today's dump report. Well, it's supposed to be fun. Now it's... Now it's just... Uh, there will be thanks, dumps. Thanks, Kenny. Yeah. There will be dumps. <laughs> there will be dumps. <laughs> I'm an oil man. We are. We I'm are. Daniel Day Lewis. I am an oil man. <laughs> All right. You're obsessed with, <laughs> there with this movie. There will be milk duds. <laughs> Uh, God, this society is so strange. I uh, really fast. I think it was CNN. They did the top music downloads for today or, or the past week. Yeah, and because the dude died, everyone feels like they have to download a Jeff Healy song. What the hell is that? It's a. It's the number one download. He uh, is the dead blind guy that he played the guitar sitting like it was oh, on yeah, his lap. Yeah, yeah. And he was in Roadhouse with Swayze. He was cursed movie, by the way. He's dead now, and Swayze's got pancreatic cancer. <laughs> cursed movie, cursed really? Mo cursed movie. Yeah, <laughs> cancer took his eyes when he was a kid, and then it came back to kill him. Did at forty-one years old. Yeah, that's why he was blind because of cancer, Ow. huh? What did it wait around the corner and just let him feel good for a little while? <laughs> yeah, no yeah. shit. That cancer's a go. bitch. I'm gonna mm. take your eyes, and I'll come back uh, when you're forty. Yeah. Oh boy. So there you have it. Can you eye cancer? God, that's gonna be horrendous. Oh. It's <laughs> like a lot of guys like they get like heart disease. And, and they go to get treated, and then, like, a year later, they die of cancer. With my doctor, if he treats you for heart disease, you die of heart disease. <laughs> Here? Boy. <laughs> it's not the uh, eye cancer. That's the bitches. Uh, all those years are trying to smoke out of your eyes. That's oh. really the hardest part. <laughs> we got to go back Ow. to the Pope. Ow. We, we found this way too late in the first half of the show. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's Jimmy so cool. brought it's this to our attention, and, man, he nailed this. Uh, the Pope sounds a little... Uh, Pope Sally. A little, yeah. s little swishy. A little yeah. fruity. A yeah. little swishy. You are invited to come to Sometimes you sound like a little As an child. Example. <laughs> Sometimes I'm a bad boy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, creepy. You are invited to contemplate Jesus as an example of how to conduct our, our daily struggle against temptation. May this time of purification prepare our hearts to celebrate the saving mysteries of the death and the resurrection of Christ. I wish you all a pleasant stay in Rome and a blessed Sunday. And now is the time at the Vatican where we dance. Touch my monkey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's good, yeah. I like when he first got in, though. We all were in the Hitler Youth. Yeah. Right, right. Back then, it was uh, just uh, what you did. All we did was, was uh, send a few Jews to camp. <laughs> it was mostly in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> he does, oof, he does have a, oh. I don't know, he can't tell yeah. with the accent. I can't really tell uh, the accent. Can yeah. we hear him in German? There's got to be some German audio. Oh, I bet you the German's a lot different. Uh, oh, God, yeah. oh. Raus, Raus. Yeah, I uh, like wispy Juden. Afro. I enjoy I got that. a correction. Brian from St. Louis, he's usually <laughs> good for corrections and uh, mm -hmm. accuracy. He writes, oh, it wasn't because uh, he died, this Jeff Healy being a, oh. a big download. It was because some shit dick, dreadlocked fag on American Idol sang his song, Hallelujah. Uh, or Hallelujah or something like that, or whatever. Hallelujah? Mm. Well, <laughs> I, um, maybe he's just spelling <laughs> Hallelujah wrong. I don't know. You never know. Where are you? Because <laughs> he's blind. Yeah. Get it? And, that, and while we're at it, let's, <laughs> Boo. let's wish Coke Logic a very happy birth. Oh. Hey. How about that? All right. Not that I give a shit. I was just saying, how about that? Hallelujah, I'm a corpus. Do we <laughs> want to talk to Dennis Hoff? Steve wants to know. 
Would he have anything on the uh, the well, Elliot Spitzer thing? Probably well, not. Yeah, right? but, well, but he's a TV guy, right? Do we have the latest on Elliot Spitzer? I hmm. think it's still. Uh, Is he retired yet, or resigned, or whatever the fuck it was. We're, st we're waiting. Left, killed himself. That'll be uh, done by Friday, right? Yeah, he's going to pull up fucking Chris Benoit with his family. Oh, my God. Uh, let's say hi, hi to Stuart Summers. Stuart. Yes, how are you today? Good. Hello. Hello. Um, yeah, I heard, I heard that retarded is no longer a good word to say. No, you can't say retarded. No. You have to say picture wrecker. <laughs> yeah, I, I was on the news. They said something about they're, they're saying uh, mentally challenged now or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, big, it's big 1990. Also, yeah, but see, also, here's the problem. We we talked about this yesterday. We'll start uh, using mentally challenged to the point where that won't be acceptable anymore yes. because we're pointing yeah. out that they might be different from being normal. We'll yeah. have to go to Mo Howard yeah. hair. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> with that thing. <laughs> also, hey, also, also, I was riding yes. in the car the other day with my wife. She was kind of reading a book. And Sounds dull. We were playing the Kenny and uh, Patty, the uh, John Travolta. Uh, there is no God. Yeah. And anyway, she looked up and said, are they making fun of Down's children again? Again? Yeah, we do a lot. <laughs> she sounds like a fun chick. Yeah. Yeah. Her name's Jennifer, too. Ugh. <laughs> if women wonder why we don't want you around we're trying to be funny, that's why. Right. It's because that's what women do. Are they, all right, Jesus Shut up! Christ. It's not about you. Do you yeah. Have you ever had a conversation? Has he ever had a give and take before? <laughs> right. It's well. him, him, him. Yeah. Him, me, him, me, him. Me, 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 I'm a real me, person, me, sir. Me, me, I'm not an actor in your play. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> I just stare to give him cues. I'm, I'm talking. He just keeps going. Yeah. Like, th th there's not a pause button on me, shit. On on. I exist. <laughs> <laughs> what in God's holy name are you blathering about? <laughs> oh, see, now, now we're all fucked up. Uh, Tim in New York. Tim. Hey, guys. Hey, that wasn't Jeff Healy that wrote Hallelujah. It was Jeff Buckley. He's been dead for like 12 years or so. Oh, Spuds, Spuds Buckley? Buckley? <laughs> he should be dead. He really. Oh. I left that disc at home today. Did we, you? We out of shame. Yeah, so, <laughs> so me bringing up that whole fact uh, is just stupid because I, I got everything wrong. Yeah, I can't turn. It. it was Jeff Buckley, and it was because the Idol guy sang it last night. <laughs> Nothing to do with Jeff Healy and his death. Well, you should just say you read it at the Times. So. <laughs> right, right on a placemat at a restaurant. So much for him being good for accuracy. Oh, fuck, I thought I hung up on you already. Shit, you got another line in. Oh. Thank you, sir, I appreciate it. Let's say hi to Fred in Maine. Fred. My name is the Pope, and I like to wear dresses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a little... Uh, we got to get some German audio of him. Absolutely. Yeah, good. Uh, Dave in Jersey. Dave. Yeah, I got a question for you guys. Um, with the with uh, Spitzer and the governor and stuff, have you guys seen the look his wife is giving him? Yes. And oh, yeah. all the videos and the you pictures expect. on, like, on Drudge and CNN looks like, oh, my God. You know, if I was Spitzer, I mean, he's a billionaire. He comes from a lot of money. I would just leave. I, I wouldn't even... Wouldn't you just leave? I would go yeah. out of style. Like, nothing oh. good could come of this. You, your your career is done. Walk your away. Your marriage is done. Just, just no walk No statement, away. nothing. You just leave and go, eh. you pa yeah, You pack up some things. They walk in to see what the governor's doing, and it's like, wow, he just left. Yeah. Right. The governor just left. Uh, hold on a minute. Now we got more info about the Jeff Healy, Jeff Buckley, American oh, Idol, okay. blind cancer thing. Oh, no. uh, Dave in Halifax. What's up, boys? Hey. Good evening. Uh, yeah, just uh, Dreadlock did it, man, but it's uh, Leonard Cohen, who just got uh, actually put on the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame there the other day. He's the dude that did that hallelujah <laughs> crap. So. Leonard Cohen. <laughs> All right. I and, uh, uh, Jeff Healy's actually from my hometown here, so. All right. I think, yeah, I, I think we can finally end this, I, hopefully. I don't yeah. Ender, man. Ender. Like, who cares? It's yes. a, it's a Molly Hatchet song. <laughs> yeah, how are we going to keep this going? I think now that's the end of it. Leonard Cohen came up with that song, right? All right so then why you. is Jeff Healy number one? Huh? Because he's dead? No, Jeff Healy's not number one. I said no. that. I, oh. I effed up the whole thing. Oh, you did? I thought the callers were. No, I thought Jeff Healy, it was Jeff Buckley. And it was Jeff Buckley because oh. American Idol do sang the song, but it's not a Jeff Buckley song. It's a Leonard Cohen song. Holy shit. That's where we're at with that whole thing. Okay, so Jeff Healy's fucked. Yeah. He's dead and he's not number one. No one cares about him. Right. No. 
I was wondering why that would be because he's been dead for a couple of weeks. Yeah. It's not like the old blind cunt just kicked off yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I say that with love. It <laughs> would uh, be great if you're blind like uh, he was and all you donate to science are your eyes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A donor card, you know. Yeah. There's two Jaspers you can play with. <laughs> <I'm> an Aggie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, play jacks with these worthless things. <laughs> <laughs> fucking put them on your put them on your mantle. They'll work just as well there as they did in my fucking head. <laughs> these two useless orbs. <laughs> them from your rear view. <laughs> yeah. Put a, put them in your fucking scrotum. Maybe they'll produce sperm. They certainly didn't pr produce images. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what two fucking that? awful testicle eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's say hi to Jim in Philly. Uh, Jim, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. <laughs> hey, I wanted to know if you guys saw, it's a documentary called Zoo, based yes. on the bestiality of the guy who died getting fucked by the horse in Seattle. Kenneth Pinion, yes. I have not seen it. I heard it was on one of the channels the last night. It, it sucked. The documentary It was stuck. awful, huh? Because they don't name them, these fucking cowards. Tom, yeah, at least everyone, Tom... All right, guys, sir. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Ahead. I interrupted you. It, it was, uh, yeah, they blocked everyone's name that was on it. They gave them all, like, just what they did for a living, and that was it. Huh. That's, so it wasn't worth uh, even calling about. Huh? <laughs> so it wasn't even worth <laughs> well, there's, this there's discussion. There's, it's a complete waste, the, waste of time. I just wanted to call and tell you that. Reenactment. All right. Thank you, sir. Thanks, guys. Actually, you saved me some time because I was thinking about watching that dumb thing. It was just weak. Yeah. There was, uh, I mean, it's worth seeing just to see the... Like, they give some information, but the fact that they didn't name him annoys me because, uh, what's his name? They, they play the audio of Tom Likas, and mm. the guy's name is, and then they stop it. It's like, what are you doing? Why, yeah. why shouldn't he be named? He, he's not a child. He's a fucking, he's a silly goose. Yeah, let's say hi to Lunchbox <laughs> in PA. We continue with Jeff Healy. Yes. Hey, I gotta hear Jim C. tell how uh, Healy died. Hmm. I gotta hear some Gypsy. I, I don't know how Tilly died. <laughs> I'll, uh, hey, I'll do some Gypsy. He had cancer in his eyes. <laughs> it wasn't murder. There you go. Yeah, uh, Sam, you got tiny genitals. Why don't, why don't He's we... making the hands, though, uh, sir. Yeah, the any consolation. Hands. Lieutenant Monahan. Why don't hey. you get the music for Gypsy? To get it on the other place. Dwarfs Brothers. Because he wasn't really putting his all into Jim C. No, so of, why do the music? I want to yeah. talk to the punk yeah. rockers. So, so you don't do any Oscar <laughs> Madison? It's all it's always Quincy. It's, it's always, always Quincy. Always, my life is Quincy. Why would you do Oscar yeah. Madison when you can do Mood. Quincy? Yeah. Come on, yeah. Mood. this is no accidental death. I got the latest on uh, Mr. Spitzer. Impeachment. The latest? Yeah, this is all we got so far. Impeachment proceeding. Mm -mm. Republicans set deadline for governor's resignation. So they're giving him a chance to do the right thing and resign. If not, it's going to get ugly. Uh, mm -hmm. If Governor Elliot Spitzer opts to roll the dice and not resign, state Republican leadership may force him to go all in and call for his impeachment from office, according to State Assembly. gambling analogies there. Sources Ooh. told CBS 2 HD. Ooh. Ah. Ooh, in high depth. Mm -hmm. Shortly oh, after it was reported... Dick. <laughs> uh, that the governor was linked to a prostitution ring that he would hand in his resignation, which could happen within the next 36 hours. State Assembly um, in, uh, James Tedisco told CBS 2 HD, mm. huge <laughs> dick, mm. that he spoke with uh, oh. Lieutenant Governor Patterson uh. Monday evening and that the two discussed Patterson taking on a new role of leadership. Patterson spoke to a photo on the wall <laughs> and said that he thought that it was forthcoming. <laughs> As Patterson spoke into the ear end of the phone, he said <laughs> before falling down a staircase. <laughs> <He> said, <laughs> Oh, uh, that's right. Patterson shook hands with a stove <laughs> and, uh, and high-fived the hamburger helper before he said... Uh, <laughs> uh, Patterson took a shit on a big wheel and then tried to flush by hitting the wheel. <laughs> Should have quit while I was ahead. Uh, it's still good. Spitzer's ego is too big to quit. Stupid Mr. Burns lookalike. Hey, he's got a little uh, young Mr. Burns in him, right? Mm -hmm. Re-elect Governor Elliot Spitzer. During his time as Attorney General, Elliot Spitzer was tough on white-collar crime and securities fraud. While at the Emperor's Club, he enjoyed having his ball bag tickled with the feathers of exotic waterfowl. <laughs> Re-elect client number nine for governor. Paid for by the Opie and Anthony Show.
very nice. Client but, number nine. Uh, Dickie uh, Punchcock writes. Here's Dickie the latest, Punchcock? The, it's been a while. The hmm. Dickie Punchcock yeah. from Whackback. Here's the latest yeah. on Spitzer. He's a man that loves Snatch. Back to you, Opie. Hmm. Pretty obvious. I'm just uh, looking. I can't. Uh, what is it? We got the twelve-year-old dwarf brothers huh? on uh, the Today Show. I'm just looking. Look at these little <laughs> yeah. freakish dwarf yeah. brothers. They're not brothers, though. It's a guy and a girl. Yeah, but it said brothers. What's wrong? No, that's well, that's a guy. It's, 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 yeah, that's two. Yeah. Oh the, yeah, it is. All right. It looks He's like pretty. a little dwarf Hanson. I have yeah. more yes. of a problem that his brother looks Asian. The dwarf. Yeah. 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 Then, exactly. His cock's actually regular size. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what is it, uh, Freak Show Day? He's 41. <laughs> <laughs> he's a little kid. <laughs> it's like five. Yeah. He's 43 years old, and uh, hey. he's got the uh, dwarfism. we got to help someone out here. Steve, uh, Pennsylvania, Anytime. yes. Yeah, morning, boys. How you doing? Good. No. Uh, good. Uh, I'm just reading about Elliot here a little bit this morning, and uh, I was just wondering if Jimmy could kind of fill in the gaps here a little bit, because I know he's uh, kind of you know an expert on this stuff. Okay. Uh, they're saying here... Uh, he had done enough business with the service to have $400 in credit and a reputation for unsafe requests. He even wound up paying Kristen an extra $1,600 to restock his credit. What the hell does that mean? It, it just means that they had a running tab. There's like a bar tab, but obviously very discreet at the, at the escort service, and he had some extra money. Can in I there. jump in here, too? They said he had $400 in credit. That means this guy was uh, a chiseler. He was probably like figuring out exactly how long that uh, the the woman was in his hotel room. Mm -hmm. Said, "Oh, you're 20 minutes short of an hour here. I'm I'm, I'm taking it off my tab. I'm gonna round I, down." Right. I think he had it in his tab, and when any normal person probably would have just because he can't do anything with 400 bucks. Right. At that service, it was yeah. too expensive, and so instead of just tipping the girl the 400 bucks. Right. That's what I'm getting at. He left it in his account. Right. Ugh. Well, what I mean, for the next time. Cheapo. For next yeah. time, but he's got to deposit more anyway. Right. Yeah, but so why, why not just? That's kind I'm of sure cheap. it's an interest-bearing account. Oh, I'm sure. A it is, high yes. yield. A high yield. Yeah. <laughs> high yield. That's right. 11 eleven percent and one fucking humiliating scandal. <laughs> one stone-faced wife. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Steve. Anything else? <laughs> uh, yeah, I was just wondering if you could kind of fill in. Uh, what do they figure out as unsafe request? Is that like no bag or? Yes, he asked to not wear a condom, and he, and he asked her. Oh yeah, we can talk about it on the other side. We're thinking blowjob without a condom. We're right? fucking without no, a condom. No fucking. Or... It probably ass fucking with no condom. Yeah, oh, it's hard to pick. We're hoping it's an ass fucking. Yeah, I'm hoping yeah, it was an ass fucking. Yeah, we're really all in with the ass fucking. And I'm hoping he wanted her to wear a Magic Johnson jersey while he did it. <laughs> 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 oh, he fucked her in the shitter. I think more is going to come out, man. Yeah. More details. I treated you like a son, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you, sir. We got to go to Jeremy in Jersey. Uh, Jeremy. Good morning, shit dick. Hey. Hi. I'm interested to see what uh, Lieutenant Governor Patterson's vision for the future of New York is. My vision. Got it. His uh, uh, Stephen S. from Bayshore. Hey, Ope, tell Anthony the term dwarves is no longer acceptable. Hmm. The new word everyone is using is kickables. Freakish. Oh, kick kickables. <laughs> hey, uh, speaking of retards, you think the Elliot Spitzer uh, thing is the story of the day? It's gotta be. I got that. story of the day, right. is which is way bigger than Elliot Spitzer. Outrage over parents' decision to have Down syndrome child undergo cosmetic surgery. Wow. Damn. They don't want him to look like uh, a tard. A retard. <laughs> Listen to this. This is by far the story of the day. Uh, the parents of a girl with Down syndrome have caused a public outcry in the U.K. by subjecting their daughter to cos uh, cosmetic surgery to improve her appearance. Why not? Uh, Georgia Bussy, or Bussy underwent radical and painful cosmetic surgery three times by the age of five so she could fit in with her peers. Why would anyone be <laughs> outraged about that when yeah. all they're doing is making her life a little bit easier? What fucking little. purist people are? And what fucking Although assholes. when you look in that face... Usually you have no expectations. None. Now, if you, there's plastic surgery and then you talk to it yeah. and then you get one yes. of those, you know, uh, you be like, oh, Jesus, you bamboozled yes. me. There's a woman applying for the job. Which one? The one eating the pencils. <laughs> <laughs> but she looks like a supermodel. Yeah, what the hell? I'm a little confused here. <laughs> Parents of another girl with Down syndrome. Button told nose and a brain to match. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Parents of another girl with Down syndrome told the paper that they were also considering altering her appearance in the future so she could be more accepted. In the future. Uh, uh, the parents hit back because a lot of people are complaining here, saying that no one complained when normal children had their ears pinned back. Are they pinning well, back it's ears? It's a little of bit kids? of difference. Uh, I, I know you do that to it. Yeah, thanks yeah. to a dog. But I yeah. thought that was ages ago. They did that. They had her tongue shaved. <laughs> <laughs> they stretch midgets now. They do this thing with the leg. Oh, they that's stretch sick. the bone. It takes it's, years. Yeah. It ta it's painful. Painful surgery. And yeah. they, they put holes in your legs, and yeah. they put these big braces, and then they take a big wrench. Yeah. And every so often, they just go click. Yeah, yeah. It's and like, like a crank. And, yeah. And like crank you up another little fraction of an inch. Yeah. I know a little something about that, too. You know that midgets in the midget community look down upon that? Although they should be looking up about that. <laughs> looking yeah. up at everything. Hey. But they get pissed off if uh, if these people attempt to get uh, taller. Yeah. Why? Well, screw them. Well, why? Because they, I mean, they're saying you should be proud of being a midget well, and short and all that crap. You should live with no. it. Yeah. So you should you be do. proud of it. You, sh you should learn not to kill yourself. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, as proud as you can get. Yeah. Uh, this goes on. Jimmy mentioned... Any other small handicapped group we can uh, really yeah, no pound kidding. on today? We really are <laughs> bullying cunts, aren't we? <laughs> we stink. We go after the tough targets. <laughs> we shut our they mouth. Are... We shut our mouth about Spitzer until he, uh, you know, stepped in duty. They yeah. are tough targets, too. They're so small, they're hard to hit. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, Jimmy mentioned the tongue. Yeah. In the first procedure, Jimmy, George's tongue was reduced to stop it from protruding. Good! According to the paper. Good! Sticking out. Always getting sunburned. Yeah, always looking like an idiot. <laughs> How <laughs> blithering do you want to look? Yeah. A tongue hanging out of your mouth makes you look stupid. <laughs> it really is like the the Hallmark card, greeting card of the, stupidity. The, the big sheepdog the, tongue the, lying the, in it out. Yeah. <laughs> that really is. So that should be numero uno on yeah, the list. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> then folds of skin were removed from the inner corners of her eyes to take away the Just, slantiness characteristic oh, of yeah, Down chow. syndrome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> folds of skin. Yeah. Yeah, that uh, little Sharp slanty pain. eyes they get. And finally, she had surgery to stop her ears from sticking out. Mm. Uh, Great. And then this family said, society often judges people on the way they look. Society's not going to change overnight, so Georgia has to fit into society r rather than society fitting into the way she is. You sew her mouth shut. The second she opens that thing up, the jig's up. Yeah. And she's going to move to L.A. because it's easy to spell. <laughs> <laughs> There's your story of the day. Yeah, that's that's nice. That's pretty terrific. We got it's a nice uh, family. We got the Pope uh, speaking German family. for everybody. <laughs> Just got to mm. load it up here. Right. Is this in Nuremberg, 1938? Uh, <laughs> uh, let's say hi to Jim in New York. Jim, what's up? Hey, man. Hey, guys. Oh. What's Jim. What's oh. up? Hey, I know this kid who got his ears pinned back about a year and a half ago. It wasn't even that bad. Not like Dumbo like or anything. Did they you, you know, it wasn't a retard. pinned back? I'm sure they don't use pins, do they? How's that I done? Don't know what you, did. you know, it was some surgical surgical procedure I had to go through. Yeah, you know, I think they cut like the back of your ears and then like take a little chunk out and pull it and well, sew it. Like sew it said, back. It like wings or anything. It That's just... weird. I never heard of that one before. Thank you, sir. Let's go to Sean in Albany. Sean. Hey, hope I gotta call you out, brother. Your uh, your all your knowledge about dwarf etiquette you got from watching the heightening episode on Seinfeld. Actually, I got my info from uh, Little People, Big World. Yeah, yeah. You watch that show? Yeah, yeah. I, I right, wouldn't. I wouldn't. God, they're fascinating. Thank you, sir. They're fascinating. Yeah. You Those really watch that freaks. show? I watch it every week. To stare at a midget is not proper, but on that show, you could stare for an hour and just look at their little <laughs> chubby little legs, having a normal life, you know, <laughs> fixing up their little house. Oh, that's great. Bathing in a walk. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> a little bow-legged walk they do. <laughs> Juden. Yeah, this is the Pope, uh, obviously, in German now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. The only one that doesn't make this language sound like uh, monstrous. Yeah. Maybe he's speaking for Europa and for the world. Amen. 
Maybe because German is such a harsh language, he's speaking that lilting way just to, so he won't come off as a Nazi. As sounding know? all, you know, yeah. Joseph full Mengele. of piss and vinegar. Yeah. yeah. Hitler knew how to speak German, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> so it was screaming, <laughs> hollering, nodding. He knew how to accent <laughs> certain words. Well, yeah. Yes, he did. Fist comes down. Uh, someone's very obsessed with the pad data saying it sucks today. Just want to bring that to everyone's attention. Let's go to What's Ryan in data? Iowa. Ryan. Yeah. Ooh. Bless. Yeah. Uh-oh. What? You get that from the lesbian bar. The AIDS? No. And it was hanging Lesbians out are the lesbian healthy. Uh, bar. Let that be a lesbian to you. <laughs> were they cute ones? Or like... Uh, they, no, nah, they were pretty much, uh... A lot of William Frawley's in there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rick! <laughs> William Frawley's with Ethel Mertz's. Oh, God, really? Yeah. With Vivian Vance. <laughs> it was really, uh, yeah, it was just, uh, you'd see, uh, what you thought were guys walking around. Yeah. And then they'd turn around, and still you'd think they were guys, and were then you you'd realize... Were you welcomed in there, or, or were you... Yes, like, I was well, I was welcome. Yeah. I wasn't really shunned, even though I... I did have a penis with me yeah. at the time, but uh, they didn't shun shun yeah. me. How, what percentage of the dykes that you saw did you think you could take in a fist fight? <laughs> wow, let me tell you, they fucking, some not of them are many, brutal, right? Not yeah. many. They're big too. Uh, some of these women get big. There was the bartender was arm wrestling. Yeah, and uh, big normal. big arm, big tattoos oh, and shit. shit really, uh, tattoos on her bicep. Oh fuck yeah! Lick that snatch. Lick it. What I was gotta, I got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I might have to puke, so that's why I'm walking out. Are okay. you okay? Yeah, I, I think I had too much coffee and fruit. Oh. oh. I, I'm, I'm gonna, I have to have to shit, but I can't burp. But I think yeah, I'm going to take puke. a mic with you. So, no, I can't. I'm allowed to broadcast. Yeah, fuckers. So. You're right, Jimmy? Yeah, I'll be okay. Your cell phone. I feel like I have to, and I'm like, it's like coming up, so. Puking? Yeah. Really? Wow. Yeah, well, all right. You right. feel better. J Jimmy? Okay. Jimmy? Jimmy? Jimmy's a little ill. Jimmy? You all right? Big tummy sloshing with urine. Sloshing. <laughs> 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 it's like when you drink too much lemonade. Right. <laughs> oh, what were we talking about? Oh, so um, the the lesbian was arm wrestling. Yeah, arm wrestling. That's like her guys that's too, her but bit? the guys were a little faggy. Mm. You know, they were a little fruity, and uh, she was arm wrestling and beating everybody. Yeah, just had these big fucking massive Be biceps. Honest, you think she could have beat you in an arm wrestle? Fuck yeah. yeah. I was actually, and I'm looking over, thinking, you know, I think I want to fucking try that out. Yeah. You know, I think I could take her. Oh, oh, oh arm sex. wrestling. Yeah, arm wrestling. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank God that was clarified. Oh, oh fa. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. made a lesbian bar thinking. I, I really want to try I that out. I want to try out, that bro. out. Yeah. Get through that thatched cottage roof of a pussy she's probably got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking machete your way through like the Southeast Asia. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, she was, she was like uh, very uh, strong. Mm -hmm. So I thought hey, if I could take her, yeah. and I wasn't sure if that would make the lesbians mad at me because it's like, oh, look, a regular guy comes in and yeah, beats yeah. her. And then if I lost, I'm just, you know, Masculated, another guy that yeah. lost. So there was a no-win scenario. Mm. You should have done it you know, for the story. Uh, what? You should have done it for the story. No. Get beat by a dyke. No-win situation. Well, that's, that's fine. We don't Kobayashi understand. Maru of lesbian bars. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Star Trek assholes. No stunning beauties in there. Uh couple. Only, no. only, only the ones with me. Oh yeah. Oh cool. <laughs> Everybody else was the ones dogged. with you. There's another well, piece. I was with guests. Another piece of the puzzle. No, well, I was just with guests. Uh -huh. Why did you uh -huh. go into a lesbian bar? Was one of the girls you were with gay? No. Oh no. Just a curiosity. Factor, yeah, just yeah. friends and stuff. You yeah. know. Said, ah, why don't we go to this lesbian bar? But that's not. And I figure, ah, you know. But that's not you. What? Maybe it's the new you. It's the me. It's me. I do things like that. Yeah. Uh, if it's fun, I'll do anything that's fun. Why not? All right. Let's see how to ride. Throw caution to the wind, Opie. That's what I do now. That's my mm. motto. No caution whatsoever. Throw that's what we're caution to the wind. We're trying to teach you caution. I have caution. Now, when you're gambling and I have plenty of caution when I gamble. Yeah. I win. <laughs> For a win. Ryan in Iowa, what's up? How's it going, guys? Hey, Ryan. I just, uh, I know Imus and Stern got black women working for them so that they can get away with making fun of them. Uh, is that why you guys got Club Soda Kenny working for you guys, so you can get away with making fun of Down Syndrome babies? <laughs> oh, Kenny, he oh. called you... Kenny. Profoundly retarded. I called you a waterhead. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite term. Uh, it's so uh, guys, wrong, but so Kenny. funny. It's awful, right? Kenny's a good guy. 
How are you, Kenny? He's just good, so good. big. You got a binyan yet today? I'll get you one. No, uh, you're not Thank going you. back out there. I, there I'll a... get you one, GH. No, it's no, it's no bother at all. I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> We elect Governor Elliot Spitzer. As Attorney General, he was instrumental in building cases against the unethical practices of many brokerage firms in the state. As client number nine, he enjoyed having only the finest fruits and vegetables pounded into his rectum by high-priced escorts. We elect client number nine for governor. Paid for by the Opie and Anthony Show. Hey, what transcript did he get? I, I, I swear that I'm reading this on instant feedback. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dale Cruz writes from Massachusetts, uh, what's up with Lee Abrams? So shut the fuck up, Steve. Lee Abrams is leaving XM Satellite Radio. He didn't mean that. I was just told 10 minutes ago. He probably ago, just meant like... Ago. He probably heard something like an old promo and Lee was going somewhere. It's like, what's up with Lee Abrams? No, Lee Abrams, who I love, this guy is a legend, is leaving XM Satellite Radio. I guess... Was, Where's uh, he going? I guess the whole staff was just told right before 9 o'clock and, uh... He's going to, the announcement of where he's going will be tomorrow. And I guess it's a great opportunity for Lee. Open up his little pot transportation business in his plane from Columbia <laughs> right. to fucking Florida. Hmm. Cocaine, transporting cocaine. <laughs> um, you know, they didn't want us to talk about it, but if it's on instant feedback, shut the fuck up. People know. I never said I went to the fucking lesbian bar with guys. Ryan from Iowa. Why would I go with guys to a lesbian bar? Don't be silly. Well, you got your haters. Uh, I got this guy, Gay Opie I. Hughes. Wow, that's real funny, dude. Uh, Opie, not funny when, <laughs> you, when you call Anthony an addict. It makes you sound like an ass. Uh, oh, no. He yeah. gambles once a month. He has no self-control. Once a month. I Get wish. a fucking clue, you calorie-keeping faggot. Whoa, what? Uh, obviously, Jesus. Gay Opie I. Hughes, you don't like me. That's fine. Whatever. But if you don't get why we bring up Anthony's uh, gambling addiction, then then go fuck yourself. Go listen to something else. Yeah. I don't give a shit if Anthony gambles his entire fortune away. <laughs> That's the truth <laughs> My of the whole fortune. fucking thing. And I know a little bit more My than fortune. you. My fortune. Norton, get about, the bag. <laughs> about his gambling. Get the bag, Norton. You ass. My fortune. Some people are never satisfied. <laughs> This guy thinks he knows everything because he he uh, listens a little bit here and there. The fact is, Anthony Anthony gambles some huge fucking hands. Some That's people, right. Some people would look at that as maybe an issue. I'm yeah. living life, motherfucker. Because this That's what I'm doing. This dope goes, oh, he gambles once a month. He gambles once a month with probably, he probably gambles in one hand the amount mm. of money you make in one year. Mm. Isn't that awful? You dope. But I only do that if I'm winning. Huh? I only do that if I'm winning. And then what, you back off? Mm. Oh, see, Lee Abrams' resignation is already on orbit cast, but Steve's like, oh, don't talk about this. <laughs> it might be fake. <laughs> right. Was he a beloved guy, beloved guy here? Huh? Was he a beloved? Yeah, Lee's great. Yeah. He, he, uh, he did a lot for this business, and he did a lot for XM. Yeah. And it sucks that he's leaving, And but he's definitely not being forced out. I want to make that perfectly clear, because of all that merger crap. So, oh, here it is. Lee Abrams resigns from XM. Uh, XM oh, nice Satellite Radio's chief creative officer, Lee Abrams, has resigned from the company today, according to a letter sent out to employees this morning. Abrams, who joined XM in 1998. Wow. Hmm. That's when no one believed in satellite. Can't this believe he's that old. This guy has a vision. Uh, will be part of a new company starting in April. Further details on this next endeavor will reportedly be available tomorrow. Endeavor. Is with hmm. Lee Abrams Endeavor. And then you get the, then you get the bullshit uh, statement from the bullshit exec. In this case, Eric Logan. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> He's the bullshit executive. You know, you've read this crap many times, and here it is. It yeah. is with mixed emotions that I announce to the company that Lee Abrams has resigned. What's mixed the, emotions. I'm happy and glad. <laughs> it's a little mixed. What's the mixed emotions? Mm -hmm. Happy for him, sad to see him go. Is that the the corporate bullshit? Uh, no, actually, it's jealous bullshit. He's like sad that he's going and actually getting a job. Right. And uh, I don't know, Logan might be out on his ass. Yeah, Logan's still waiting for his boat to come in. Yeah. <laughs> That's where the sadness part comes in. 
Uh, Lee's impact on XM and the entire satellite radio industry would be impossible to capture in an email. Lee's going to get a job bagging groceries till he hangs himself in a halfway house, <laughs> carve his initials on a fucking beam. Creep. <laughs> uh, World's a little too fast for me. Yeah. Ah, uh, Logan went re- all out for Lee Abrams' announcement. <laughs> oh, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> we got it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just rob the grocery store. Yeah. Maybe I'll just rob XM. Maybe I'll shoot Eric Logan. And they'll put me back in jail. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a little bird inside his coat pocket. <laughs> he gets up and ugh, just clumsily kicks that fucking table out from under his feet. His old shoes hanging there. What was that? <laughs> Shawshank. Oh. Shawshank, yeah. That, that was I so that damn one. depressing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm working from XM. Uh, I got a job down at the Foodway. <laughs> <laughs> the Foodway. <laughs> the Foodway. Bagging groceries for cunts. <laughs> Good hang yourself, you old bastard. Well, Logan, <laughs> I saw a car once. <laughs> it was a little too fast for me. Good. Logan spent at least 10 minutes on the big uh, the big email to the company on Lee Abrams' uh, resignation because it continues with at some, least 10 minutes. It, it continues with some terrific stuff for a guy that uh, gave his soul to XM for the last 10 years. So far, he gave us it is with mixed emotions that I announced to the company that Lee Abrams has resigned. Then he goes on to say, Lee's impact on XM and the entire satellite radio industry would be impossible to capture in an email. That's called laziness. That's called... I bet you can give it a whirl, (laughs) Elo. That's called... I really don't feel like spending the next hour drafting this email. It's impossible to capture everything this gentleman has done for the industry. Right. Because I'm much too tired to type. Exactly. (laughs) I'm on my 11th bourbon. Right. (laughs) It's hard to type with your forehead. (laughs) I can't possibly do that because I'm a beaten man, and I'm just praying that someone gets me out of this hellhole that I've been in for the last year with this merger crap. Uh, well, it's uh, impossible to capture in an email. However, everyone in our company knows that Lee's vision and creative force is a key reason why XM is as successful as we are today. That's right, being bought Uh-oh. by Sirius. Yeah. With, well, with the stock price down? <laughs> yeah, that's Thanks. wonderful, Logan. What are you doing? Stock price is at an all-time low. There's a billion dollars in debt, but... <laughs> what did Lee do? Come up with the fucking serious dog symbol? <laughs> right. <laughs> he told Mel, go over there. <laughs> oh, that Lee. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's the reason why Axim is successful. Is as successful as we are today. Oh, my God. There's nothing but horrific news that comes out Where? when you Google XM. No, uh, all kidding aside, Lee is uh, the real deal. We love um, Lee. Lee's mark on our medium will be remembered forever, and we are grateful to have had Lee as one of our founding programmers and architect of our programming philosophy. The architect. His, his yeah. contributions are too numerous to enumerate. <laughs> I'm guessing they found pot in his office. <laughs> Something. He had to resign. Right. He's fucking... He's client number he's eight. He's client... <laughs> yeah. I was going to say that. He's client fucking eight. Uh, Lee's last day with XM will be sometime in the next three weeks. Oh, okay, if they're letting him stay around a little bit, that means it's uh, they not won't. too bad. And then he writes, I'm honestly at a loss for words. Wow. Jesus, Elo. No, he's just slurring all of them. <laughs> right. And then we got uh, comments to this on Arbor. His um, his uh, his last day will be sometime in the next three weeks, perhaps in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that falls in the time frame, doesn't you it? You know what it is, Lee? Though I mean, Lee is an amazing guy. I mean, he's he he's, he'll, he he could talk for hours about what FM. Dude, fucking, you could comment on the story, and the first one I see. Is good riddance, putts, funkus. <laughs> good riddance, putts. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Fucking idiots. Anyway. Mm. Good for you, Lee. Good for you. I wonder what he's going to do, though. Huh? Probably re- He's probably reopening the McMartin preschool. <laughs> <laughs> the new no pants policy. Uh, <laughs> well, they all they do is crap them. Might as well walk around without them. Uh, let's say hi to Bob in Chicago. Bob, hey there, Bob. How's Chicago? Hey, how's, how's it going, gentlemen? Hey, hey, hey good. Hey, look, 
Look here, man. I didn't really need to get put on. I just wanted to uh, tell you guys that uh, if you're interested, uh, Kramer <laughs> last night on CNBC. You know what's his name? Uh, Jim Kramer. Right. He, he right. He was going on and on. Uh, he did went into quite a rant about how uh, terrestrial radio was trying to kill satellite, and he was talking about how terrestrial radio is dead and it sucks. And oh, uh, that makes guys. a baker's dozen heart attacks. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's some uh, bit of information you got there, Bab. <laughs> Glad you called with it. Hey, well, that's what I'm here for. Bab. That's what you're uh, you here know, for. Help you guys out when you're struggling. You yeah, know? yeah, when we're struggling. We're not struggling. <laughs> struggling. Yeah, you, you, so you come up I with some... I love you guys, man. Hey, yeah. we love you. Go hey. Back. Oberst. Jim, Jim Norton will be there in Chicago on April 25th. Early <laughs> show sold out. There might be some tickets on the late show. Hey, by the way, why is Tweety Bird wearing a red suit? Oh, it's Dr. Laura. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking cunt. Can she oh. stop trying to look young? She has a wow. fucking, it's an awful, she has like Florence Henderson's wig on from 1974. <laughs> She's had so much corrective surgery. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. Like, you can see a neck is there, but her face is pulled back like when the American werewolf in London was changing. <laughs> gonna... I fucking can't. What a fucking goody two-shoes she is with that I hairy pussy. I don't like that Dr. Laura. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Chicago. <laughs> sausages. Sausages. Hey, get me one of them near sausages. Let's go to Mike in Canada. Oh, I want to come on her fucking oh, speaking face. Speaking of stupid accents. Hi, Mike? Canada. Hey, Can Canada. you say about or house, please? A yeah. boot. A boot. Hey, how you doing there, eh? What's yeah. up? You mean A, eh? Hey. Hey, I know why Ant's going to the lesbian bars, because he likes the drugs. Yeah, they got good drugs at drugs the lesbian bars. Drugs at lesbian bars, do they? Oh, yeah. Honestly, I have no oh, idea. Yeah. I was just, I was having beer. Pampering? I was drinking well, a, a beer. Too. I got a rock stream for you guys. Oh, wow. Way Get to be ready? topical. Yeah. That was last week's news. I was hoping that rock screen would end with a fucking anvil falling on his fucking foot. <laughs> Let's take a quick break. Uh, you know the yelp of pain you'd give out if an anvil landed on your foot? On the bone of your foot? Wow. And it landed like the corner end first. You know what you don't see in movies anymore? Quicksand. I know. <laughs> yeah, what happened? What happened? Yeah. having a quicksand? It was always to be, a quicksand scene, It used to be right? horrifyingly yeah. terrible. That was exactly. a scary thought, wasn't it? You get sucked into the earth. I yeah. think everyone knows now that it's not like that. Yeah. And it's you not? could just kind of float on it. Yeah. And if you swim, kind of tread water a little bit and not panic just and try to get out. Just an umbrella and pull his dumb ass out, right? Yeah. You could get out of it. Can yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. I love how they just slowly sunk in old movies. Yeah, I know. It's great. You put your foot on the black guy's head and then reach to <laughs> claw your way through the fucking shrubbery. <laughs> hey, we should have mentioned this on the other side uh, because we're live in Cleveland on uh, that fine station up there. Uh, but uh, there's spons somebody sponsoring a sticker stop at the WMMS studios during the Maxwell show from 2 to 6 p.m. Oh, yeah? Just oh, got should. the word out. Is it today? Oh, we should have mentioned that on We should have mentioned it on the other side. Maybe you guys should wait a day, and we'll do it on the other side and get the, get the people going down We didn't there. know. We didn't know, sir. Cleveland. Right. We're going to take a quick break and continue with the Opie and Anthony show. Let's not forget, Otto and George uh, wow. have wow. a new DVD wow. out called Wanted for Crimes Against Humanity. Three dummies and a puppet. You got John Valby, you got Otto and George, and you got this guy. You hear me talking, hillbilly boy? <laughs> and you got pretty Paul Parsons all on one pretty DVD. Pretty fucking far from okay. <laughs> go to left.com for, uh, for the DVD and go to ottoandgeorge.com for concert thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. There is a new element of vulgarity. Opie and Anthony is outrageous. Fuck you. Move and fuck you. Damages our children. Go fuck yourself. And diminishes their future. Evil. Evil. This is a tragedy for the society. Are you mad, Jimmy? I'm annoyed, yeah, but I mean, because Pete was going to help. Yeah. Oh. But he didn't, you know. We uh, we said yes to meatloaf, and then he said no to us after I don't know. <clears throat> he was booked or something. Yeah, I'm really fucking irritated. Clark of shit. Trying to find out. We were doing him a favor. Yeah, damn it, Rob in Iowa. What's up? Yeah, you you shit dicks. You stepped all over Otto's great line. Oh. What was that? 
Oh, and you guys talking about uh, drugs in the lesbian bar? He says pampering. <laughs> what did you say? Pampering. <laughs> Hold on, I was distracted because Otto was uh, was tracking our speed with his radar detector that he brought into the studio today. That's an old oldie time Minolta camera. <laughs> Look at this thing. Like that. How fast am I going? That's, so, just pretend you're in Dealey Plaza. <laughs> yeah. so, that's a great camera if you're filming the Sasquatch. <laughs> yeah, he's shooting 8 millimeter. Looks that's like, nice, yeah. It really looks like a radar gun, man. It's super 8, motherfucker. It's film. Yeah, real film. Yeah. People don't use that anymore. It's cool, I'm telling you. Real Check film looks wall. great. I'm Let's see a 16 next sound. Oh, you, know, you I are. I make a feature film with a 16 millimeter camera. Yeah, that would roll. And blow it up to 35. That's what they did with Easy Rider. Mm -hmm. I'm on to something. Show that shit at Sundance. I'm my own fucking movies. I'm not going to wait. Show us how convenient yeah. it is to take the tape out and put that. <laughs> that was you know, great last night. That was one of, my, frazzled. one of my favorite moments ever was him just going, oh, it's a piece of cake. Yeah. Fucking an hour later with a mallet. In front of <laughs> <laughs> so a mallet. Why do you hurt me? <laughs> <laughs> I just want that camera to somehow blow up in his face. <laughs> Fucking acidic burns all over his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> fucking camera backfires. Yeah, battery, acid, yeah. battery acid right in his fucking yeah. stupid face. <laughs> there you go. Film that asshole. <laughs> Thank you. Come Film back. the emergency room. <laughs> yeah. come, come back and do the radio show. We, we have need more oh, love in the world. It. Hey, let's say hi to Robin. <laughs> Robin, Iowa. What's up? I was saying you guys uh, stepped over Otto's line about drugs in the lesbian bar. What was it? Amper. We heard it <laughs> right. How many times you're oh. gonna do it all day? Yeah. Yeah. You want, you want me to say it again? No. Yes. No. Stop, Bears. <laughs> say it again, Broncos. <laughs> all right. Thank you, sir. We got a uh, Filipino beauty pageant answer. These are always good. Oh, good. Filipino? Yeah. They ask her a question. Beauty and, pageant. And she attempts to, you know, sound smart She's and ends up terrible. sounding very stupid. What letter comes after Q? <laughs> Janina, how are you? I'm fine. All right, so you won two of the major awards, best in long gown, best in swimsuit. Do you feel any pressure right now? No, I don't feel any pressure right now. Confident. All right. Oh, whoa, 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 wow, that was whoa, close. Whoa, whoa. Then, I thought he was calling her a cunt. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> no pressure, huh? She must have, like, an ass cave. <laughs> pressure. Confident. All right. Whoa, Please whoa, choose whoa, whoa, let's try that again. Hmm. Right now. Confident. All right. Please choose a name of a judge. This is sexiest we have sardine fisherman in fucking time. Filipinos. <laughs> Good evening. Dirty Good country. Evening. The question is, what role did your family play with you as candidate to Bidi Bidi Pilipinas? Whoa. Uh, the penis? Well, what? Bidi Bidi but The itty bitty penis. Bidi, bidi, bidi. What did Tweaky say? <laughs> bidi 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 The Bidi Bidi Penis. <laughs> bidi 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 The Bidi Bidi Penis. Tweaky. They play with you as candidate to be the bidding Filipinas. <laughs> well, Jesus. my family's role for me family. is so important. Yeah. Because yeah. What sex trade are you gonna be there part was of? the <laughs> they are, they was the one oh. who we get the shit. Very <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. Um uh, my family my family Oh my god. Is a spitzer? I'm <laughs> Okay. Wow, they're not I'm very so forgiving. I'm so sorry. They're I, laughing. Yeah. I told you that I'm so confident. Ito, um, wait. <laughs> wow. Well. Um, sorry Yammering guys, because airhead. this was really my first pageant ever. Because I'm only 17 years old. All right. And <laughs> been fucking for 10 years. <laughs> I, I did not expect <laughs> that I came from, I came from one of the tough 10. Mm. Oh. What? So no, it's walking on my back. But I said, <laughs> "Fuck her family." Not Watch your my fish family slit. is the most important person in my life. Fucking Thank pig. you. Candidate number uh, fifteen, Janina San Miguel. Yeah, good for yes. her. Yeah, good for you. Good wow. job. Shouldn't she be fucking? Shouldn't shouldn't uh, Robert Loja and Richard Gere be fucking her? <laughs> in an officer and a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, big spender, give us your money. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. Good golly, isn't that wonderful? Hey, who do you think is going to win Mississippi? <laughs> <laughs> who are you voting for, Otto? 
Well, or is that a private uh, well, question? Like the Obama, he's just not black enough. You know, you need a, a <laughs> scary black guy with prison <laughs> muscles. You know, <laughs> you want... really don't you think a scary? You know, no. you're going the other way then. Yeah, I think like it's, a lot of people saying he's uh, like a golfer. You know, I don't know what that I think guy. He, he's safe black. Yeah, you know, I don't know. I, yeah. I don't think it makes a difference who's elected because nothing's going to fucking change. I mean, the fact that. Yeah, the no. fact that people still think that voting has any impact at all. The only impact you can have is a revolution, an assassination. That makes a change. I yeah. think um, I think Obama mm -hmm. would make a difference. I think people would actually, it would be a change. Really? How yeah, so? because, I mean, because Whitey is so guilt-ridden yeah. uh, that I think a lot more of his policies would pass than if just some old white guys in there and they could always vote against it. Nothing ever gets done in Washington anymore. If... if uh, Congress likes something, the president vetoes it. Yeah. If the president writes something, Congress doesn't vote on it, uh, and, and it doesn't go through. But I think Obama writes something, and then everyone goes, we have to vote, yes, or else we'll look like we're racists. Oh, no and way. And they would just let you through. What? No fucking way. No Do you way. Don't see, you don't see this country as being the most guilt-ridden white people on the face of the earth. I'm not either. Yeah. That makes two of us, Otto. Yeah. And uh, George, although yeah. he's wood, yeah. that might make three. Yeah. Everyone else is a liberal yeah. pieces of shite. You know, regular Joe has a comment. Okay, regular Joe. Regular Joe. Well, yeah. you know, let the big muckety mucks work it out. What do I know? <laughs> <laughs> I like regular Joe. <laughs> regular Joe. <laughs> he, he really puts <laughs> things in perspective. Oh, yeah. Re regular Joe should be fucking slaughtered like a lamb. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bobby D. from Brockton writes, Otto wants Michael Clark Duncan as president. Yeah. <laughs> and then Gino yeah. from Philly writes, Kimbo no, Slice for vice Wallace. president. Huh? Marcellus Wallace. Would be president. perfect. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty fucking far from all right. I'm the president, motherfucker. Uh, here's a good regular Joe kind of a, um, a, right. a phrase. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, nothing doing. That's my bread and butter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, nothing doing. That's <laughs> nothing my, doing. That's my bread and butter. <laughs> <laughs> Use a little I, uh, elbow grease. <laughs> uh, regular Joe says, well, yeah. what do I know? I just work here. Yeah. <laughs> that comes from upstairs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm just a working stiff. You regular know. Joe what do should I know? be hit by a car. Oh, no, regular Joe sh should fucking like, fall with his legs onto a subway oh. and, and just have them crushed <laughs> where he's like a tourniquet. And then he gets his mouth fucked before they pull the train away. <laughs> and his guts spill all over the tracks. Jesus. <laughs> Fuck regular Joe. Rage. It's like Joe is pressed between the platform and train, and his family comes down, and he can't say goodbye because he's having his mouth fucked. Oh. <laughs> when his wife goes to hug him, they pull the train away, and his <laughs> guts spill all over. Uh, ending his life. Yeah. Let's say hi to Kevin in New Hampshire. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Kevin. How do you do, regular Joe? Wow. All right. Kevin? Hello, sir. How are you doing? Hey, Kevin. Hey, how you doing? What hey, up? Kevin. Hey, uh... Back on an earlier subject from today, Anthony, yes. when you woke up alone in the chair alone in the studio, mm -hmm. how long did it take you to realize, wow, I'm not dreaming, I really am on the radio? Oh, it was a matter of uh, probably five or six seconds. I woke up, I looked around, and then I remembered I was supposed to be doing a radio show. Hmm. And I went, oh, fuck. No, thinking that your whole career is a dream, and like kind of yeah. like the Newhart last show when you when he woke up. And oh yeah, and it could have been a dream sequence, and I was asleep at my crappy tin knocking job, <laughs> and I just woke up. Well, that would suck. Oh my God, would that suck? Imagine that. I fall asleep. I wake up and I think uh, I had a whole radio career, and I realize, oh my God, I'm still just fucking knocking tin. I just dozed off in in an attic. That would kind of be cool because you know, I don't know. I, be a lot younger, I wouldn't have gotten married. <laughs> yeah, true. We uh, we got a uh, old woman getting. St I you, like that sound. I do got? too. What That's you, cool. What are you doing, Otto? I'm filming He's you guys. He's taking film. He's making a movie. <laughs> I'm, ma I'm going to do a silent documentary. This yeah. is. It's not fast motion. Uh, fucking. What do you think? Your Babe Ruth <laughs> running around the no bases? Way you get candid Photographs with this thing chugging away like a fucking okay, cappuccino man. machine. Yeah. Okay. Let me capture the moment. 
Oh, that really is a noisy. Oh, that whispered helicopter. <laughs> That's why they never got good footage of Bigfoot. They heard. They heard just scared it away every time. Away, right? Jesus Christ! What the hell was that? Turn it on again. I want to throw Omar out of the helicopter. <laughs> Omar's okay. I told you a long time ago not to film me. <laughs> Don't monkey. ever film me, Tony. Yeah. All right. Stupid Omar. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Hey, that's, that's great. Good. I got to go back to this. Ignore uh, the jackhammer and the cappuccino machine. Token black fan from Boston writes, Anthony acts like there aren't already black people in Congress and the Senate. <laughs> Some Asian woman with a pointy hatchet throw a grenade in that thing. <laughs> I, I, I make silent films. My boys love it. <laughs> Death cards. Let Charlie, let Charlie know who made everybody deaf with their camera. <laughs> hey, put that viewfinder right up our ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Oh, man. Oh, you guys are that song. Riot. A regular riot. Are you an assassin, Willard? <laughs> regular Joes. <Yeah>. Uh, <laughs> I'll say it again. Token black guy from Boston writes, Anthony acts like there aren't already black people in Congress mm -hmm. and, and uh, the Senate. Yeah, I know there are. But not uh, as the top. Gets... President... Black guy. Oh, that's my bread and butter. <laughs> and nothing will change. I'll still go down to the shop. Yeah, you know, it's six to one, half a dozen the other. <laughs> Says regular Joe. <laughs> oh, please, regular Joe. Kill yourself. S-E-Z, regular Joe. <laughs> my girlfriend fucking hates regular Joe. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Of course. He's a non-entity that she won't acknowledge when regular Joe talks. But is, regular... That, is that a character you're doing in, in on the radio show or in no, stand-up? No, everything in the radio show is from my, like, every character. No, never stand-up. Oh. It's all real life that I annoy yeah. my girlfriend with and I bring here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and I fucking do regular Joe. Yeah, well, I bring the funny stuff to the radio. We get the uh, the special you, characters. You get the characters, yeah. like yeah. Uncle yeah. Paul. All I love how he goes, oh, never the, never the act. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I no, mean, never on stage. Yeah, I don't do these on stage because they don't work. It's like uh, the, the regular Joe she hates. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, she's just like, fucking regular Joe is nothing. Yes, yeah. Bird in the hands worth two in the bush. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. She wants feelings from you, right? Yeah. That bit. That's right. She yeah. wants regular Joe and a pair of balls in her face. Yeah. <laughs> Take them apples. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of that? He's a good cock choking. <laughs> I'll give you two Uncle Pauls and an ass fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what do you give me for a regular Joe and a load in the hair? <laughs> <laughs> We got this. Susan Mitchell was in her mm -hmm. Davidson County home during Tuesday evening storms and heard the weather that, alerts on TV. Oh, this dumb bitch. They were putting tornado watches and then warnings across the bottom of the screen. Oh, Mitchell says off. she got scared. She grabbed her cats and took cover in a bedroom closet. I fell asleep Dummy. and I woke up and I wanted to get out and I couldn't get out. In her rush for safety, she forgot the closet door locks from the inside. Why would you have a closet door that locks from the inside? In case your shirts want to make a break for it. And if it locks from the inside, <laughs> can't she get out? Oh, yeah, it locks from it's, the inside. It means if it locks from the outside. Oh, there, good point, good point. Like, this this whole fucking thing is, is screwy. Maybe this dumb broad thought she was locked in her own house. <laughs> yeah, what are you... Uh, I can't get out of the closet. Locked from the inside. It would be the outside. And why? Instead of panicking, she found a wood panel in the closet. <laughs> and tried to bust the door open. All right. It didn't work. She slipped a note under a crack in the closet door. For who? Help! I'm trapped in the closet since Tuesday night. <laughs> <laughs> what a dumb <laughs> fuck. Why you, would you... Oh, please. Why would you put a, 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 a note outside the door when you could just yell help? It's yeah. in your closet, yeah. You hear yeah. people there go, oh, I hope they got my if notes. If anybody's out there, read the note. <laughs> <laughs> Grab that note. <laughs> And somebody would read it and go, I can't read it. I'm sticking the closet. How do you stick in a closet when they leave? <laughs> Apt natural. <laughs> Unbelievable. The closet door. Help! I'm trapped in the closet since Tuesday night, 12 a.m. Just in case someone came looking for her, 20 hours would pass with no food, water, or medication Toilet. for her diabetes. <laughs> was diabetes! So I was trapped in a closet, and I had the diabetes. Yeah. And oh. Liberty came to the door, and I, you didn't see my note. They said, help, I'm trapped in the closet. So I missed my diabetes medication. Yeah. And help. then they said, why you say it like diabetes? We're not even going to save you. 
past with no food, water, or medication for her diabetes. I would have slipped candy so under the door. <laughs> there you go. Eat this. Lose a couple of toes, you old fucking clumsy twat. <laughs> <laughs> That'll teach you. <laughs> Say goodbye to the fucking pinky toe. <laughs> that was slipped <laughs> under there. Fruit roll-ups and ribbon candy. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Be ready for some sleaze stack feet. <laughs> Fucking shuffle along, you old burden. <laughs> yeah, just, just leave the closet under the door one piece at a time. <laughs> I'm almost out. A few fingers left. You know what I would have done? As, she, as, as I see that old fucking crooked hand coming under for the note, I would like to grab her fingers and just yank as hard as I can. Just fucking break her wrist in the fucking... Like, pull her hand through the bottom of the closet door so her hand is sticking out and she feels like an asshole. <laughs> it's sticking out like fucking, like, thing in fucking the Adam Sandler. <laughs> with all of her fingers facing up, and then rub your asshole on one yeah. so it smells like shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Just fucking take up, stand up and take a leak on her hand. You see her trying to pull it back in. Fuck, 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 fuck. Something like Otto's camera. Fuck, 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 fuck. Otto. Otto. Uh, oh, this is dummy. Uh, oh, shit. Hey, a lot of questions coming in. Uh, who the fuck has a pen and pad in the fucking closet? <laughs> and then Matt Lafar from Queensbury writes. Oh, <laughs> Help him trapped in the closet, said Steve Corley. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then someone from Philly writes, how do you got audio? Wait, how are you guys playing audio from Steve's head? <laughs> A lot of Steve jokes coming in right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I ripped off a piece of my assless chap <laughs> and carved in the leather. Uh. <laughs> She'd be fucking kneeling on the floor in the closet with her face pressed against the door and her fucking hand stuck through it. It snapped wrist. Her fucking stupid charm bracelet. She'd move and it would just jingle. <laughs> Scratch her. Stupid silhouettes of her grandkids. Yes, that's right. Five faces you'll never see again. <laughs> <laughs> and when they did open the closet door, it would hurt her hand so much. She had to crawl quickly with the door so her fucking hand skin didn't get ripped. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. <laughs> the only way to get it off is when you get the door open, you have to step on her forearm and just open the door quickly. <laughs> Rip that shitty charm bracelet. <laughs> Trying to convince herself a piece of cat shit is a Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> just gnawing away. Hey, how you doing, boys? Thanks for the rescue. <laughs> oh, Mongo the trucker. The cats are in the closet with her, right? Yeah. Oh, are they? Yeah, she took the cats and ran into the closet. Oh, that's great. Oh. You can only hope that this story ends with the cats nibbling on her toes, well, gnawing can, away uh, at her open wounds that won't heal because <laughs> of her diabetes. You can <laughs> almost hear them going, ah, this dumb cunt. Ah. <laughs> 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 uh. and no tornado or storm hit her house or anything. Nothing. The dummy locks herself in a closet. Fucking idiot. A knee jerk. The cats, the cats must have been so disgusted with her. Yeah. Oh, look at this baby. <laughs> ammonia piss. <laughs> She's just sitting there with her fucking stockings in ammonia piss. <laughs> That's what you get. That's what you get, Ethel. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's uh, see what else happened here. Food, water, or medication for her diabetes. Oh, boy. Yeah, I was so thirsty, I think I would have hit somebody for water. Instead, she finally thought to hit the wall. The force of her swing made a hole a little more than a foot wide to crawl through. Threw another blanket out there in the floor in a pillow and squeezed through the hole. She, she bashed the hole in the wall Yeah, and went through. How long was she in there for? Uh, like 20 hours. She didn't Honestly. decide to do that a little sooner? No kidding. Hmm. Mitchell is glad her ordeal is over and she lived to tell the story. So I say to everybody, oh, Jesus, loudly. keep a hammer in your closet, tie your cell phone around your neck. Yeah. Or how about take the lock off your closet, you fucking cunt? <laughs> right. What are you afraid, the moths are going to sneak out? <laughs> the moths. And take a hammer and hit yourself over the head with a claw end. Take That's a hammer to do what? Build yourself an escape hatch? You're already in there, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Always a lesson. In your closet. Tie your cell phone around you. <laughs> Tightly, and then to a beam. And um, be in shape. <laughs> and be in shape. <laughs> yeah. Keep a, keep a toaster in the closet <laughs> and a uh, photo of the Blues Brother. <laughs> and some bottle of water. Yeah. Some bottles of water. And some ST37 to rub on your clit in case of an injury. <laughs> in case of an injury. <laughs> All right. And bring a little. And bring something to wash your clit with, <laughs> so the cats don't start lapping at it. <laughs> she would wake up every five minutes, and the cats would be lapping at her clit hood. <laughs> they thought it was a little fish hatchery. <laughs> 
cool <laughs> salmon eggs under that fucking <laughs> that, that fleshy fold. <laughs> oh, <laughs> delicious little treat hider. <laughs> <laughs> Chester's liver writes, does she live in a gingerbread house? <laughs> She's an old diabetic. How brittle was the wall? <laughs> I got to make. I, I got to make. Where are you going? Pataki. Hey, well. I got to make the right, oh, shit. Yeah. You're gonna, okay. Yeah, go ahead. I got to get busy. Go ahead. We, we ta- we're we're tag team over here. Are you dumping? No, he's got oh. pee-pee. You got oh. pee-pees? I asked this shit. <laughs> I hope the fucking door is locked and he just shits down the back of his fucking, his acid wash jeans. <laughs> <laughs> fucking auto. Your camera's gonna be broken when you get back, stupid. <laughs> he should have taken it with him. Sure, he should have. <laughs> Cover up the sounds of this shit. That's <laughs> fucking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's very comforting for a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Too distracting. I hope he fucking dies on the toilet. <laughs> I hope an hour later, fucking Otto is just dead on the toilet. <laughs> with his fucking pants around his ankles. <laughs> he dies as he lived, shitting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with that, we'll take your quick one. Just a quick one, a single break yeah, right, right wow. now on the Opie and Anthony show. <laughs> oh, hey, I know I speak like an idiot. Do you? It's all about me. Is it? I, I was assaulted. Were you? We're brilliant broadcasters. Are we? You are out of your mind. Am I? Oh, that sounds real good. Does it? I'm thrilled. I'm excited. Am I? I thought I heard Negro. Did you? It's the OB and Anthony show. Is it? Um, Otto is not back from taking his dump. Uh-oh. Maybe Jimmy was right and he oh, died boy. on the bowl. Someone check on uh, Otto. Otto. Send, send George in. Welcome back to the Opie and Anthony show. A busy one today. With all the news, the breaking news. By the way, I want to thank all the pests that were helping out with the Google bomb yesterday. Yeah. Baby diaper mustache was doing very well yesterday. and then- Was it? Then dumb Elliot Spitzer had to trip over his dick. Ah, that's right. And fuck up everything. Yeah, that must have taken uh, taken away the lead. We were rocking the uh, the Google bomb yesterday with the baby diaper mustache. Did you see the uh, segment is ruined? Did you see the video that's uh, taking the nation by storm there, Otto? I heard about it. You actually did that. Well, uh, boss, yeah, disgusting. Boss uh, got me in a corner. I did had you to. puke. Uh, yeah, I puke. Not. A lot of people get, are uh, got confused because the video uh, shows me like kind of it looks like I'm puking in a wastebasket uh, yeah. right here. I was actually drive heaving horribly, and then when I went in the bathroom and I couldn't get the smell off my off this part, I started puking. Oh God! And I, it takes a lot for me to puke. Yeah. Oh, so it didn't wash off in one. Sw- yeah. you no, know what, you know what it was. Baby fecal matter. I had uh, I had a little goatee kind of oh. growing in, so oh, it was God. on every individual hair. Oh man. Oh. Last night I was still scrubbing away word. under my nose, scrubbing away. Jesus. And my girl is now finally kissing the bottom lip. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> three days later, she will now just kiss the bottom lip. Here's That's the disgusting. here's the video, Otto. Oh, okay. It's on all the screens. Uh, yeah, it's getting, it's doing very nicely on the old internet. It's in a lot of places. I guess what, onaradio.com wouldn't, uh, put it on their website there, Steve? I guess not. I Baby guess not. They, they, they were sent it, but it hasn't shown up there yet. Why? Bunch of dummies. Yeah, see. It's good uh, stuff. Otto, because, uh, yeah. I really didn't mm-hmm. expect to do this. Yeah. I'm, I'm not, uh, a stunt boy for the most part. Yeah. I've done some stunty things in my career. Yeah. But, uh, I got caught with my pants down. Mm-hmm. What am I going to do? I would have looked like a, the biggest asshole if I didn't go through with it. That's true, yeah. But Voss uh, brought in a diaper filled with baby shit. You uh, had no choice at that point. Very right? green. And, they weren't going to let you leave without doing it, right? Uh, well, I was I was looking for an out. One yeah. of my outs was going to throw it at either Rich Voss or Bob <laughs> Kelly. Or smear, it in, stopped you? or smear it in E-Rock's face. And then oh, I'm, that well, would have been the best. Well, I'm thinking of all <laughs> oh, the possibilities in my head, and I'm thinking, you know, the listeners are going to crucify me. None of these are going to work. I've yeah. got to do this now. Yeah. It was like green and kind of like uh, caramel colored. Yeah. <sighs> like uh, butterscotch pudding. All right. With a little like... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ugh. With a little melted dark chocolate in there. E Rock, you have something yellow. to say? Kind of spongy. Yes, E. Um, we were trying to sort this out yesterday. CBS will not put the photos, video, or link to them 
up you hear on this, any Jimmy? Of the properties. This what? is this is one of the things we talked about yesterday. What, you you hear right. this? This is why I don't want to deal with those fuckers. What? The See, baby diaper mustache video or any of the pictures will not be up on uh, the website. They won't be hosted website. nor linked to off their uh, their property. They don't why? like scatological <laughs> humor. Oh. However, last night I did see that it's on their YouTube channel. But the diaper, it, it, there's no... There's, what fucking pussy makes these decisions? Because the diaper, that you don't see anything happening in the diaper, fucking idiots. No. They no. said they can't do anything related to shit. Well, they should just fucking look at their programming. <laughs> God, that was a good one on my part. Wow. <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. This, yeah, is the, fuck this is what we've been dealing with with these guys. It's your babies. Yeah, they, mm. they, we, they want us to have a completely squeaky clean fucking website, and then we're allowed to promote it over there. Gee, thanks. But we can't even put this up on a, a website. What's wrong with this? As long as it's not going in your mouth, right? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the shit um, things are. It's a, it's, it's on, this is how out of touch they are. It's the internet. You're yeah. supposed to be a little edgy around the net. Right. You could do anything. It's yeah. playing somewhere, right? It's just you want it more widely spread or something? Well, it's, on, spread. it's on YouTube. It's on opianthony.com. It's doing very well. I, I saw it, it on it a bunch of websites. Co-ed People magazine. People should have to search a little for this is like a snuff film. It's like, <laughs> you think it's a this is not what you do. Yeah, it's creepy. It's disgusting. <laughs> it really is yeah. disgusting. Yeah. I, I didn't realize how bad it would be, but that is just horrific. Well, here it goes, Otto. Yeah. I, <laughs> I see you retching a little there. I, I'm just trying to get up the nerve to actually do this. I mean, how, yeah, how do you bring okay. yourself to do. Oh, you got gloves on? Yeah, because I and and he's got like, two what? dollops of shit What's on each hood? Does index it trap finger. the odor even more? I don't know why I put the hood up. I huh. I was just feeling like silly, I guess. Yeah. Obi Wan Kenobi. Why can't they do anything with shit on the online? Oh god! Oh, <laughs> oh god! Oh, oh, god. <laughs> oh fuck! Uh, that is difficult to watch. Yeah. Right there, I'm dry heaving. Yeah. I'm not puking. I'm dry heaving horribly, though. Like, my stomach wants to just start puking. Wow. God. And then it just gets worse and worse, and it takes me forever to get it off my fucking face. Huh? He fell off his chair. I love I, that part. I fell down. Yeah. And now I'm wiping it pretty much all over my face because I can't control the wiping process. And then I just need to get the fuck out of the studio. <laughs> <I'm dry heaving. laughs> Look how bad you're just yeah. dry heaving. Everyone else is puking. Now I'm like pissed. And now I got the diaper. I'm like, I got to take someone down with me. And <laughs> no one was around. Look, see, you see everyone kind of everyone scattering. Fled. And then I barely got in the garbage pail and then ran down the hall. There oh, we go. Nice sprint. And then when I come back, I'm banging off the walls. And then my eyes were tearing for the rest of uh, the show. God. It was awful. Absolutely awful. Uh, well, the video's doing well on YouTube. You can go there at least to see it. Baby diaper mustache. Look like Inspector Clouseau for a second. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Carl. <laughs> certainly fucking better than Steve Martin looks. Like. Yeah. <laughs> that Steve Martin film was what he smeared under his nose. Oh, God. And what he, sh he should have fucking smeared on the screen, because that's what the movie was. <laughs> he should get bone marrow cancer for making that. Yep. You know what's funny? I, uh... <laughs> Could you sign this? My son's a big fan. He's in the hospital. Oh, yeah. I hope you get cancer. You should only get cancer. <laughs> <laughs> There's a movement. There's people attempting to try to say that this is fake. It's so that obvious. Happens with I, no. Every I, single. Look at my eyes watering. I can't act. I'm not an actor. I happens suck. With every video out there, I absolutely say it's fake. suck. Mm. Haven't talked to Rich Voss since. I think he's a little scared. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, the video was also removed from ripevideos.com. What's the what the fuck is going on with the internet? Now they're starting to get pussied. Yep. Pussified. Well, as big corporations buy out these var the, these these viral sites, you're subject to whatever rules and regulations those huge corporations buy. Well, as long as that's they don't. why the internet is so, so great is because you get away with more than network TV and don't cable pull TV. Sites, and like like so you can't group. put <laughs> so you can mock shooting somebody but you can't put pudding under your nose? I mean, like, yeah. that's... Whoa, don't say that, because now they're going to say, see, they... see, Jimmy admitted <laughs> it on the show today. But yeah. meaning, it's Blind like, that's, that's the beauty of that video. You never see the fucking diaper being filled. That's the fucking... Yeah. This is not... Oh, you fucking assholes out there, you fucking corporate faggots. They're always going to move the line on you, so, you know, you can't... They're just cowards. They're, bu they're a bunch of people who know nothing about being funny. Yeah. They, they know nothing about being talented. <clears throat> they're fucking... They're just fucking just douchebags and ties. They're all Elliot Spitzer. Yeah. They're fucking nerds who don't live the way they fucking expect everybody else to live. Yeah. Here, here's what happens, That's too. So There's a site out there that will get popular. 
Uh, just say it's some video site. It'll get popular because there's such outrageous, cool videos to watch on there. Right. Then a big company will notice, wow, this, this uh, site uh, gets a lot of hits. Yeah. I'm going to buy it. Then we're going to put commercials on it. And we're going to eliminate all the good shit that people went there to see. Yeah. And then when it fails, they wonder, what happened? Hmm. Why? Uh, well, it was such a popular site uh, before we bought it. Yeah. But no one will take responsibility or admit the fact that they just didn't leave it the fuck alone. No, uh, they got to fuck with it. No, it's a bummer. We have a really good relationship with Break.com. And yeah. they refuse to put it on their front page because they've been uh, bought up. Hmm. By a big uh, corporation, and you can't blame the guys because if you're if, Dude, you're, sitting, if the... you're sitting in your basement, uh, <clears throat> uh, fucking up with your computer, and and you you make a website, and a year later the thing's worth three billion dollars, I'd sell it like a, if it was my mother, I'd sell sure. I'd sell her for that much. Sure, for fucking. Why, uh, why are people like? Are they afraid of like complaining? Fo somebody's going to complain by phone, or I don't know what it is. You can't sue them. Yeah. It's the internet. Right? They don't want to be. The thing is, they're companies. It's yeah. not just like some company bought it and said, hey, I own this website. It's like, I own this website, and I own Paramount Pictures, oh, okay, so and I own Blockbuster Video. I don't and... want my product linked with right. uh, diaper shit yeah, yeah. comedy. Yeah. So they, they, it, ru it ruins everything. It yeah. ruins! Break that <laughs> show's ruined! Break.com thought it was... <laughs> Break dot uh, com thought it was a great video. They mm -hmm. laughed. They said it was hilarious, but they can't put it on their front page because they've been, you know, bought up by a big company. Uh -huh. Break dot com. If you do a quick search, one of their most popular videos is the famous uh, girl, you know, getting diarrhea, shitting in, in the hot tub. In the hot tub. No. That is, I think, if you search uh, break dot com all time uh, most viewed videos, I believe it's right up there in the top ten or so. Yeah, a shit video. Yeah, but this one, you know, uh, innocent little mustache. There was no ingesting or no nothing like that with this video. You know, it's it's a shame. But really. John Ru Waters had that poodle shit eating scene, and now he's a big <laughs> Broadway uh, baby. You know, yeah, dude. He, we had John Waters in. Yeah, he must. He was. Been, I mean, he was, was he cool? really, really cool and interesting. Wow. Absolutely, bit of a weirdo, but yeah. really strange. Gonna do? Extremely not, strange. I have his comb. Yeah. Yeah, you, know, you do. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Really? That's between us. Keep Johnny it under Waters. your hat. That's oh, right. have to call That's a regular Joe says. Keep it under your hats. <laughs> yeah. Here's your hat. What's your hurry? <laughs> Fuck off, regular Joe. <laughs> it's time for today's talker. And, Ooh. okay, you know, when you leave for work or simply get out of the house to run errands, do you ever worry your pets are going to get bored while you're away? Yeah. Never dawned on me, but <laughs> anyways, that's something you may never thought of, like me, but it's something a Valley man has yeah. dedicated a huge portion of his life, actually the last seven years. All new this morning, Sarah Kallstrom tells you about a radio station for cats only. Oh yes, a little Kiki D oh. on Cat Galaxy. A strange premise, maybe, place, dog an internet radio station <laughs> meant just for cats. All cats, all the time. The idea came to Noel Rosen almost seven years ago right when he felt one of his cats seemed bored. He put in a CD, and the rest is history. Music started playing, Isis laid down and relaxed, and Cat Galaxy was born. You fruit. Mouse like farts. The, the Meow Mix fucking theme song over and over. <laughs> <laughs> what is a cat? It doesn't matter. I hope it's the sound of a fucking screeching car tire instead of thud. <laughs> play the same thing. They won't mind. Rosen calls this his studio, where he broadcasts live two hours every morning, two hours every night. We've got the Wednesday night cat attack. We've got the Thursday night purr party and the Friday night feline frenzy. Nothing gets on the air that hasn't been cat approved. We have to throw away the human way of thinking that everything is meant for humans. Oh, Cats, I think, know what they want to hear. This if you're one of the me. three million people who have visited his website over the past seven years, three. What? This is why the Iraqs fucking hate us. We have yeah. fucking radio for cats over for here. Cats. They have nothing to eat over in fucking Iraq. No wonder they hate us. You know, it. This. The, I'm just thinking, if we get fired again, this is the only place we have left to go. Opie and Anthony on Cat Radio. Oh, cat Radio <laughs> Network. That would suck. <laughs> meow, 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 That's right. Here it is. This is the music bed. We have to do the show over here. Yeah. How you doing uh, out there, uh, cats? Uh, can I find any mice around the house? I hope so. Got a good mouse story coming up a little later.
And hope he's still teasing that fucking Spuds Buckley thing, so maybe we'll hear that someday. <laughs> I just forgot to bring it in today. I'll bring it in tomorrow. Oh, cats love this. Special segment today, the advantages of licking oh. your own asshole. <laughs> well, not an Afghan. Well, not too far talking off. to some cats in China. Oops. That's right. That's right. They're called food. Are we pets or lunch? <laughs> Today's segment from China. Guys, uh, I got the website up. Uh, uh -huh. They have some fine features like uh, morning meows. Mm. The purr, a lot of R's, perfect mm. start to every cat's weekday morning. Beginning at 8 a.m., we play some of the best stuff in our feline freeform format mm -hmm. and also have some great fun as well. <laughs> great fun. So get your weekday morning started off right with a lot of fun as only a station for felines can deliver. God, I hope this guy takes live calls. Please call this guy's radio show. It's, uh, it's our... catgalaxymedia.com. Uh, Meow Mixing Monday. Meow Mixing Monday has some great mixes of music from smooth jazz to alternative cats. Oh. Do I have to read this? In Heat Tuesday. Friday. Row, 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 <laughs> row, 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 row. <laughs> Stick the heel of your boot up its ass. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing more fun than fucking with a cat in heat when you were a kid. Yeah. It's like, like take the tip of my boot and poke your ass with it. <laughs> Your ass goes up in the air. You want to be fucked so bad, and you're just teasing him. Little cock tease. <laughs> but you can't put your big human fat dick in them. No. So you got to kneel with a little lipstick right by your crotch <laughs> and put your little lipstick in them, and they think they're being fucked by a cat cock. Row, row, row. Anthony, do you think that's where Jack Jack is? You think he what? got discovered by catgalaxymedia.com? I can only hope. You think he's the morning man at uh, catgalaxymedia.com? Oh, yeah. I hope fucking Jack-Jack right now is wondering why there's motorcycle tire treads in his back. No! <laughs> no. I'm he's down at the mouse circus with Mr. Jingles. Yeah, I hope Jack-Jack <laughs> is uh, pinned down with, you know, all four paws are pinned down and there's a, there's a saw slowly heading toward him. <laughs> no, but the, you might be close. Yeah? Well, I did get a report. Oh, that no. little Jack Jack <laughs> oh, no. has got, got stuck in a wall. He was stuck in the wall screaming and uh, had to be cut out of the wall. Where's this? Where Jack Not Jack in my might... house. But why don't you just take Jack Jack back? I can't take Jack Jack give back. Give him a real home. Wasn't my idea to get Jack Jack. It was the ex's. Mm. And now it's uh, hers. So Jack Jack ends up getting stuck in walls now. And, and screaming and crying and getting cut out and then uh, get, get being covered in dust and sheetrock and, and probably asbestos that he had to then clean off himself. Fuck him. Poor little Jack yeah, Jack. My, I like little Jack I Jack. I do too, but he's been spoiled and coddled. He's like the Elliot Spitzer of fucking animals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bad for a little guy. Oh, man, that sucks. Here's no. that galaxy staff who passes away. You may have noticed that yeah, Rosen has been off the air for the past couple of months as the station recovers from a tragedy. We lost our assistant station manager hmm. just after New Year's this year. Oh, thank God. So it was a big loss. Oh. Hope he died in a cat oriented accident <laughs> like i hope he was cleaning up cat shit and he, like he stood up too quickly and banged his head on a cabinet <laughs> with something that could have been avoided easily if he'd just mm. been careful the chinese restaurant got her <laughs> <laughs> oh wait was it a guy or a cat that died i don't know it's a cat. i'm just a cat? oh no. you say oh, that it is a cat oh i thought it was a guy oh wow oh. here so it was a big loss and it hit us hard and there were some uh we're just now getting back into the groove again. After six years in the position, Jade passed away. Aww. But now Rosen, his station manager and program director, are ready to get back to business. Uh, change of gear slightly. We got a uh, lovely animal story on CNN. There's a deer that is being raised like a, like a dog, like a pet. A deer that refuses to leave this fucking uh, yard of this, of this family. So they put a leash on him and stuff, and the deer actually follows the, the family around. Literally jumps up and fa oh, that's kind of cute. What? Look, the thing won't leave. pet it. The thing won't leave. Hmm. Oh, Italy gives him fucking lie disease or Lyme disease. <laughs> or, or lie disease. Lyme yeah. disease. That's what Elliot Spitzer should have gotten. <laughs> yeah. He'll fucking not uh, wait. Wait till All the right. deer fucking haunches up on his front and like donkey kicks somebody right in the fucking oh. gums. Here's my deer. 
<laughs> Good kid. Where's your pet? He's sure. in the den from the neck up. <laughs> Drag it home. <laughs> <laughs> that is cute that the deer lets him pet it and stuff. I want to pet a deer. <laughs> Go to a petting zoo, you I'll, dummy. I want to pet a deer with brass knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Gently stroke his chin with a roundhouse. <laughs> and then just come around and clock him in that flat side of his head. How shocked would a deer be if you belted it in the face with brass knuckles? <laughs> <laughs> he would be so surprised. He would just, like, jump and run away in his little white. He'd never return to the yard. He wouldn't know what was happening. Well, he's so used to being, like, fed oats. Shuka, shuka. Yeah. <laughs> Under his chin, you give him the little shuka, 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 he's, he's, and then, and then just from back around, just a roundhouse with brass knuckles. He's used to hearing this. Yeah. yeah. So what you do is, as you're scratching his chin, then you roundhouse right in his cheekbone, and he fucking like would he'd be shocked and just run away, looking over his shoulder like, was that planned? What happened? <laughs> or, or hold your hand out with a little bit of grain in there, so he's eating it, and and thinking everything's fine. He's chewing. And then you just come across and hit him in that little half moon kind of round <laughs> bone thing on the side of their mouth. Or across the, onto the bridge of his fucking <laughs> button nose. You, you fucking come down with a Liddell just fucking punch. Clock him with brass <laughs> oh, oh, his eyes would be just open all big and wide, all yeah. shocked. Oh, hopefully he'd Why fall did down. he punch me with brass knuckles? Hopefully he'd fall down and then get up and run away. <laughs> Knock him out. He has to go back to the deer community and just feel like an asshole. Because <laughs> they'd all be like, we told you so. <laughs> told you. They don't just feed you. They fuck you up. They always want <laughs> something. <laughs> big, big brass knuckle marks on the side yeah. of his face. <laughs> oh, they'll oh, laugh at him. Teddy. God, would that be so funny to see? Break his little deer jaw. <laughs> have to talk through a wire for three months. <laughs> talk through Who's going to wire his jaw? Oh, hopefully the owners care about him. Oh, okay. If not, he's going to be fucking licking, licking soft grass. Hoping to get nutrients. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking faggot deer. <laughs> I like to grab that white tail and deep deck it while he nurses his sore jaw. <laughs> <laughs> While the fucking family looks on in horror. <laughs> Tails just going, fruit, 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 fluttering. He's trying to run. <laughs> I trusted them. Mighty key He's saying. I'm being deep dicked. <laughs> yeah. Hard. <laughs> Not Might lightly. I'm Mighty still dazed from the no. punch in the face. All right. Mighty key say, uh, K, uh, K C, sorry, from Mudville writes, Chuck Liddell versus Bambi. <laughs> <laughs> just give him a nice, like from way around behind you. <laughs> oh, would he be surprised? A roundhouse. Oh, yeah. Go with a roundhouse. A fucking, just a jaw punch. <laughs> See if he's got a glass jaw or not. <laughs> you can fucking take about that deer out. <laughs> yeah. If you listen, expect a joke or two about man's best friend, but even more, you'll hear from a man. And that's what you get for being in a station for cats. Who truly loves cats. Sarah Carlstrom, CBS 5 News. <laughs> Mm. Okay, Cat Galaxy is celebrating its seventh season, and Rosen says Ew. he doesn't make any God. money off of this. He just does it because he loves it. Did you see all the hair on the microphone? <laughs> very nice. <laughs> uh, very nice. It's very nice. wonderful. <laughs> you just have to have a little improv at the end there. Yeah. All yeah. right. Why don't we... Uh, Mm. Okay. Line of the day is brought to you by BodogFantasySports.net. They've got $1 million up for grabs in the Bodog Bracket Buster game. If you think you know uh, college basketball, head over to uh, BodogFantasySportsNet.com. Yeah. Wait, no. Mm. Head over to BodogFantasySports.net. Mm. Yeah, that's it. BodogFantasySports.net. Here is a runner-up line of the day. She would wake up every five minutes, and the cats would be lapping at her clit hood. <laughs> They thought it was a little fish hatchery. <laughs> uh, another runner-up line of the day. Hey, that's, that's great. great. I got to go back to this. Ignore uh, the jackhammer and the cappuccino machine. <laughs> 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 Cappuccino. <laughs> Fucking auto. Auto and George.com for tour dates. And uh, go to laugh.com, I believe, right? Yeah. 
For the uh, the new DVD that came out today, I guess, Wanted oh. for Crimes Against Humanity, Three Dummies and a Puppet. You got John Valby, you got Otto and George, and you got Pretty Paul Parsons all on one DVD. <laughs> Laugh.com. and piano music. Nice. That's a good uh, combo, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think so. All right, here's another runner-up line of the day. His wife's yeah. name is Silda, which, you know, he couldn't have said that in a sexual sense and felt good. Oh, Silda. That's right. Jiggle them, Silda. Silda. <laughs> 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 Mm. Awful name, yeah. Silda. Yeah. Oof. Not sensual. Make you want to go out and fuck a hooker. Yeah. And like Silda, she should totally blame herself. Up to the second knuckle, Silda. <laughs> this guy is so fucked. What a baboon. New York governor was a rising star. Yeah. Slope shouldered liar. <laughs> mm. Oof. Hello? Hello. 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 Oh. Hello. I like those old-fashioned rings. It would just be nice if you actually pulled out an old-fashioned phone, <laughs> plopped it down up here. Hello! I can. Ah, get me the editor. <laughs> line of the day, or we got uh, one more runner-up? Another runner-up line of the day. That's something I can do. Where are you, sir? Are you on the roof of a car like Grape Ape? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, now that's a good one. Jimmy's going to be leaving, uh, what, Thursday for some, some dates? I fly out to uh, Denver Thursday, but of course, I will be in studio for Michael K. Williams. Yes. Of course, Omar, finally getting Omar in from the water. Oh, show. Very psyched. And uh, we're going to see about meatloaf tomorrow. My agent is working on it. It's certainly not from his end. Um, it's the film company or the publicist. The managers didn't even know about it. Really? So this is not meatloaf the artist. No, it's the publicist or the film company. Once again. I don't remember them uh, getting credited with singing any of the songs. But that's that's why always, are they making the goddamn decisions? That's if it's the film company, I can't express mm -hmm. to you how ugly I'm going to behave towards that mm -hmm. film company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Because they're probably L.A. based. They just go a radio show. You know what though? You can't fight City Hall. Right, regular Joe. Regular Joe. What? That's your bitch. This is my impression of. Jimmy's impression of regular Joe. So I was just kind of ripping it off a little bit. Scramble eggs, regular Joe. Uh, uh, you know what? Uh, no. We're not going to get meatloaf. Maybe they'll give us potatoes. You know, regular <laughs> Joe can be funny too. And no use crying over spilt milk. That's right. You know, <laughs> whoever I, cried I, over spilt milk. Man. Yeah. It's probably the pen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, probably on. Jake Lamotta's kids. Is <laughs> 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 they knew a good eye blackening was coming? <laughs> or Connie? If she fucking spilled some milk, oh yeah, Carlos waiting for his whores. Clean it up, <laughs> you guinea brat! I can't stop pinching <laughs> my cock. All right, with that we'll do <laughs> line of the day. Here, Here wow. comes line of the day. Line of the day. Oh, what a beautiful day. Oh, God, I got a good night. Oh, my God, they all know I had sex with a hooker. <laughs> fudgy, wudgy, Buzz. <laughs> oh, fudgy, wudgy, Buzz. Fudgy, wudgy, Buzz. <laughs> Yuck. What? It was one of Opie's characters called Spuds Buckley when he was very, on, very man. young yeah. and starting in radio, and it's... <clears throat> Probably amongst the worst things you'll ever hear in your life. I never heard Opie do characters. That's oh, it's great. and and well, you shouldn't after Spuds Buckley. <laughs> Spuds Buckley. It is so bad. How bad is it? How would you describe Spuds Buckley? He's uh, kind of this um, childish thing with a wacky little voice like this, oh. and comes in going la 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 la. He's, he's based on a waterhead. Yeah, certainly. Yeah. Oh, is yeah. that it? He thinks he's smarter than he really is. Okay. Yeah. I'll, 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 Not shy. Hmm. I'll sum up Spuds Buckley. Thinks he's cool. When when Voss opened those diapers, if it had spoken. <laughs> 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 la, la, la. It's kind of like Jerry Lewis. Yeah, there's a, a bunch of... Uh... Good morning, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. I, I'm going to get Spuds down. Uh, all right, I'll bring in the desk uh, tomorrow. But Why is the desk... Not here with the rest of the. I really discs. just truly forgot it today. To but be, why'd uh, you bring it home? Yeah, you know, because I have to control how much Spuds Buckley gets out there. He's why? embarrassed. Mm -hmm. I'm embarrassed. But it's 15 yeah. years ago, Otto. It is really. What were you doing 15 years ago? Uh, you know, doing my act. Yeah. Yeah. Banging my girlfriend at the time. 
Yeah, Wake you up on a floor somewhere. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. <laughs> La 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 la. Oh, no, no. Good morning, Bearman. Oh. That was Spuds Buckley's oh, voice. Oh. <sighs> la la. Yeah, look. See? Otto can't even, like, <laughs> fathom that shit. Yeah. It's just like. Uh, Why would he go la la la? Because I told you I was all about the catchphrase. I, I was dreaming that everyone would be doing the uh, la 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 la. I'd rather la. have I'd rather have two of Otto's cameras and hold them tight against my ears <laughs> and just hear bah. <laughs> Ugh, Spuds Buckley's a douche. <laughs> yes, he's the worst. Uh, right, now I'm sad. So we should Spuds Buckley's go. gonna rue the day that uh, the time machine's invented. That's right. The day it's invented, you get to go back in time and punch him in the oh, face. Oh, yeah, I will. With brass Worst knuckles. Worst idea since clear Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Otto. Thanks for helping. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got to get out of here. Yeah, let's get...